Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Moonstone Matriarchy. Um, I'm Jessica. I also go by ICD Stars online and places like TikTok and Instagram and stuff. And um, yeah, let me run you through our games before I let our players introduce themselves. So Monday nights, we have the Ion Adventures uh, at 7.30 p.m. EST, DM'd by myself. Tuesday nights, we have the... State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign at 7.30 p.m. EST, DM'd by at Cottlesworth with uh, Katie here as well. Uh, and myself. I keep forgetting that one. Um, Thursday nights, we have The Lost Continent at 9 p.m. EST by Mr. Markham. And Friday nights, we have The Legends of Cryolus at 10.30 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and GM'd by Telerius Game Master. And after tonight... Um, in a few weeks, we will have the Moonstone Matriarchy continuing uh, a full campaign at um, around this time. So, stay tuned. Uh, Anemone, why don't you take us away? Hi, everybody. My name is GM Brevin. You can call me N. I am playing a large, beautiful, bombastic Wonder Woman named Anemone, who is a Goliath fighter samurai uh, class, who is ready to kick ass, take names, and uh, make the shadows weep and cry with her amazing show of strength and muscle and and really pretty eyes. Uh, you can find me on Twitch as GM of Revan, as well as on YouTube, and I make naps. That is the thing that I like to do the most. Take it away, Cappy. Hi, I'm Star, and tonight I'm playing Cappy, who is a Herongon wild magic sorcerer. Uh, I remembered to do that this time. Uh, <laughs> you can find me everywhere at uh, Star Mama C um, on TikTok or elsewhere. Characters Without Stories is the name of my podcast, where I talk to people about characters they haven't had a chance to play yet. And I'm going to pass it over to Katie. <laughs> Hi. I was popping bubbles. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, I'm Katie, uh, Dungeon Mistress Katie on all the things. <clears throat> um, I am, as Jess said, I'm on Tuesday nights on the same channel on, uh, what the hell is the name of the thing? Uh, State of the Union, that's the one. Um, and then here, and then every other Wednesday when I don't have opera rehearsal, I am a uh, yellow the ranger on master of rem oh sorry uh rem turn is master of rem is sarah i'm having a day it's been a great day um and uh i am playing rosalind alara <laughs> great very tired very but somehow caffeinated elf um with red freckles on her face and um some some big big motions um as we go through this last thing together for a little while okay uh, i'm next gonna send it over to jimper i think you hi to i'm juniper i haven't gone yet no um okay, great. i am linen and spice most places mostly tiktok and blue sky um if you want to watch me playing alien and currently playing a medic and trying to keep everybody alive amongst all the horror um i'm playing that first sunday of the month on shattered tabletop games um yeah otherwise um tonight i'm playing clover who is a tabaxi little tiny house cat very prim and proper um and she is a trickster cleric and i'm gonna pass on to delphra hey i'm uh mommy kelly or Megs, you will find me nowhere on the internet once again. Uh, I am playing Delphra, a Eladrian druid, and that's all I've got. Is to be miss anyone? Scarlet. Scarlet. Hi, I'm Scarlet. Hi. Sorry, I'm a bit tired today. Um, I will be playing uh, Sin, the Moon Elf Warlock, with mommy issues. And uh, 
You can find me uh, all over the internet at Scarlet64. And I just started my Patreon where I post uh, D&D and Pathfinder original art and stat blocks to use for your games and other stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay. Back to the DM. Okay. Okay. So, last time on the Moonstone Matriarchy, the party went through some interesting encounters, uh, from face planting in quicksand to worm surfing it. Um, they smashed keypads and argued over how many colors a tiger had on it. Um, they <laughs> <laughs> tried to break portal mirrors and that ate their friends. Um, in the end, though, they met a Tembrosan who regularly Gosh. braves <clears throat> regularly braves the shadowlands to save stupid moonlings that encounter or that enter the land in a foolish attempt to end the shadow curse that usually ends up costing them their lives oh and uh sin made another deal with nixaria for delphra's health what could possibly go wrong? I, I, I have forgot no about that. idea. Yeah, no <laughs> clue what could go wrong here. But uh, stay tuned to find out, I suppose. So, you guys all settled down for the night. You took a long rest with um, with Arya keeping watch. After about eight hours, she none too quietly takes out her sword and just starts banging it against the side of the the uh what do they call that? You guys were in a temple. In a temple? Bitch. When I All was right, so like her. You've like slept for eight hours. I think um get up. I'll just uh, stay here all day. It's what? fine. What? <laughs> <laughs> Two swords are bro- are currently out in the open. Roz is going to throw something at her, whatever's within reach. <laughs> See if she catches it. Sin, uh, she does not. Elf. She gets a nat one, and you nail her in the face with it. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> she... I think Sin being an elf, she uh, more does trance for four out of the eight hours, and uh, she was kind of meditating in the corner, like, and then the banging. She's like, yeah. <laughs> And uh, so, Anemone sitting bolt upright like that um, threw was, Clover off her, her chest because Clo- <laughs> Clover was Clover curled up on her what? chest. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, Clover. Uh, sorry about uh, that. Here. You weren't an alarm clock. Oh, You're as annoying as an alarm clock. As are you guys. Now, you have something to be doing. It's not like the world rests on your shoulders or anything. Do you want to join us? No, I'm good. Uh, I'm, good. I'm, I'm not looking for death, so have fun. So, so yeah. then, uh, fuck the rest of the world. Then, I are mean, you afraid? If if you're not looking, are you for if you're not afraid, if you're not afraid, then something's wrong with you. But see, we're brave enough to go past the fear. So, yeah, not all of us we're are. Just bullying the dark. Absolutely. Can I can I try to persuade her into coming with us? Can I can I so we can have someone to bully for the rest of it's the session? <laughs> That's fine. I we'll see what happens. Go ahead. <laughs> Roll me persuasion. Okay. Give me a second. I'm trying. Oh, dice. Whoops. This is going to go poorly because it's plus zero. <laughs> <laughs> what did you roll? That one. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> she just looks at you and goes, perfect. Well, uh, fuck you guys. And um, <laughs> she leaves. Uh, <laughs> she just disappears off into the dark. <laughs> I didn't want to hear your sexy voice anyway. Delphi what do you guys do? Like, okay. Hmm? Like Delphi just kind of like pokes her head up and she's like, all right, which way? The city is... Wait, city. You are on the outskirts of the city. 
Okay. Okay. So uh, there is a giant I- spire in the center of it that you have been told about. Okay. So Delphi's just going to kind of like swing her head over and just be like, okay, there. And just starts marching off like it's nobody's business. Okay. Can I, can I see the spire from here? You know it's in the middle of the city. It's a little bit hard to see. I would like to look around for... Uh, so I'm wearing boots of spider climb. Mm-hmm. I would like to walk up to the top of the temple. <laughs> you are more than welcome to do so. I'll do it. Climb up. Like, I'm, I'm not just like, hey, everybody. I'm just going to like like a little emo anime girl just kind of like all right so you, and then selena you climb up there. on the top you know what are you looking, looking for the spire the spire um remember Get that the darkness is oppressive here so like it's hard to make out much in front of you i might have devil's sight oh do you i might let me double check um yes i do that? It is an eldritch nice. incantation. You do. You will locks. see the. You'll see the, the spire in the center of the, um, the center of the city. It's a black obsidian spire that just juts out into nothingness. How far away is it from here? Um, maybe an hour's walk. Okay. Does it? As I kind of look around, does it look like there's a clear path forward, or does it look like a maze? Uh, it's a city, so you have to go through city streets and blocks right. and such. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to, like, slide down the wall. <laughs> My cloak billowing up. It's very epic and gothic. Yeah. Vampire-esque. I, yeah, I'm like, I'm like Selena from Underworld. <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. The, was the spire there before the Shadow Curse? Yes and no. So what you would know is that they did have a tower for the royals, um, but it has been greatly um, changed. It was not this big. It was not this grandiose. It was not this imposing. Hmm. As we're walking to the spire, Clover will hear um, Anemone go, you know, Sin's cloak is rather great. I kind of want that. Where do I get a cloak like that? I thought you were going to steal it. <laughs> no. I'm not a rogue. Anemone, I have an extra cloak dress. It's, it's, um, you can make it any color or any fashion you want. Do you want it? Very tempting. Very, very tempting. The item is called the cloak of many fashions. <laughs> Are you gonna are you gonna cosplay as me and we can walk together? <laughs> Anyone uh, have a hat of disguise? <laughs> I'm just coming in looking like a, a K-pop group. Oh my god, I love everything about that. We uh, are we are the we are the K-pop group. Uh, do you take black, it? Black, we're not black pink, we're black violet. <laughs> that was such an ugly no, no, sound. No, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the media music in the background. As you guys make your way through the like the city, you notice that it's a very like it's a very haunting sight as you approach it and start walking through it. It's filled with an eerie silence and abandoned structures. It's that oppressive darkness is just kind of clinging to every corner. Um, again, in the heart of the city stands the Black Spire, which is crafted from that same dark obsidian that adorns all of these mountains that you've been going through. Um, the architecture that of this spire bears like a remnant. It it looks like the Ten Brosen style, but it's become very gothic. And there are these, like, huge arches that were Tenbrosen-esque, but have become something more. You feel like everything that you're looking at right now is almost 
wrong. It shouldn't be there. It shouldn't, it shouldn't even be able to stand the way that it's standing. Um, as you pass through these seemingly abandoned city streets, can everyone give me a perception check? No, no, I no. can't do it. I can't do it. Not 20. Ooh. Not 20. Ooh. Okay, okay. I have a question. I have a plus eight, so I'm doing the same manner. Dang. Okay. I, I 23. Yes. Something I've never asked any other DM, which you probably should. So if you do a perception check mm -hmm. and you roll lower than your passive perception, mm -hmm. you don't see Does that matter? Do. Yeah. So if I'm I asking get... you for if I'm asking you to look for something, then you're I'm not asking you for your passive. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. The I'm... role the role matters. Ah, uh, okay, cool. I was like, maybe. No. Yeah, the passive is more there in case the DM wants to secretly do some stealths and not ask yeah. if like give me a perception kind of like gives it away. Yeah. <laughs> um so okay. those of you who have gotten in 18 and above, is that how many of those? Is that everyone? The three of us. Okay, three of you. I guess because um, I have disadvantage, right? Because I don't have dark vision. So fair, 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 oh. fair. So I only got a six. <laughs> uh, you see, Delphra, you see a pink ribbon out from st like sticking out and kind of like blowing in the wind of like under some a pile of debris. Uh, there's like a little farther away. There's a child's teddy bear in the middle of the street um abandoned forgotten and just as you guys kind of turn a corner with your nat 20 you see the shadows move and you get the feeling that you are not alone what is there anything that you would like to do right now Nope. And I'm going to say the other, the other two that have seen it, uh, Scarlet and and June. You guys get a chance at this as well. You guys um, know that you're not alone. Anemone also got a twenty-one. Just so you know, on that perception, you time. know that you are not alone as well. I am going to use my class feet. Uh called awakened mind i can telepathically speak to any creature i can see within 30 feet of you that understands at least what your language first i'm going to warn telepathically the everybody because i don't know who sees it and who doesn't so i'm just going to telepathically whisper in your minds uh be on your guard we are not alone and then uh, is it apparent that they are trailing us do they notice us um yes they do notice us that i'm gonna reach out telepathically to the closest one friend or foe you you're just gonna talk to it like that <laughs> friend or foe i mean if it if it knows we're here then i may as well let it know we know it's here over here and give Roll it a initiative. chance <laughs> what oh, the okay. fuck, man? Hey, at least she... we're not. At least we're not surprised, right? Yes, she, that was an actual that... like. If you guys hadn't managed to see them, they would have all gotten a surprise round on you guys. Yes, like... I got a twenty-three on initiative. Twenty-three. Okay, Kathy's well, coming in. Well, twelve. Twenty-three. Who? Uh, that was an Emmy. Yes, um, and he got twelve. I got a twenty. I didn't see... click my token though. Sorry about that, guys. I got a five. Oh, I didn't Oops. click point. Oh, and, what, I don't mm -hmm. think she's got turn order up. Yeah. One, 16 for Clover. 20. Eight. Five. You got Did you 20. say 28? No, eight. I'm not. Eight. Just eight. Okay, eight. No. no. I think that's a hell of an initiative, Whoa. dudes. A plus eight to my initiative. I rolled that 20. Four. Who am I missing? Uh, Clover, what did you get? Uh, 16. 16. Okay. I think that's everybody. I'm going to start this. Okay. So, if you go to the first page in the, um, 
the roll 20, I believe. I don't know. Let me put you there. I'm not sure I did. Did not. Uh, you should be able to see all of your all of your uh, characters on this board. It's loading. It's a big map. Look at how pretty that is. Um, let me switch over tokens. How do I make that small? There's a little thingy up Come in the corner. 20. Yeah. Let's Ooh, see. Oh, wow. This is a big That's map. Really big. So, uh, Delphra. Yeah, I, I just grabbed it. Um, Delphra. Yes. Beside you is a little green um, fox slip? that you can, yeah, that you can control. So oh. you can put him on the board with you. I have the ability uh, for off chance because like when um, Sin had telepathically was like, hey guys, like we're not alone. I had wanted to like put my staff on the ground twice to call Quartzly. Is that hundred percent? You you okay. called Quartzly. You tapped the ground. Quartzly appeared beside you, and now you have control over him. Uh, make sure that you can move your little fox, bro. Uh, a quick question about roll twenty: the everyone's like icons are enormous, and I know there's a way to make them small. How do I do that? What do you mean? They're oh, in, you mean like, one square? Um, yeah, the squares are enormous, and I know there's an option to make them into like tiny little bars, and I don't no yeah so uh, um no. top top uh there's like a cog top right i've got that clicked yep audio and video audio, audio and, video. and video okay and then video display uh -huh. and then the first the first thing you names can only. pick like names only yes there you go. so much perfect thank you no worries let me move yep i can move perfect all right, so you call out to them. You let them know that that you've seen them and they've lost the element of surprise. And out of the... Did I not name that properly? Okay, yeah. Out of the, um, the darkness, this is what happens. God. From this, you're on this city street which i forgot to describe you guys are in a, like this dilapidate dilapidated city there are broken boxes debris everywhere um but still houses and buildings that you guys can like take cover behind and stand on and from the top of one of these houses cappy here a shadow version of cappy <gasps> steps to the edge of the building Oh, oh. Yourselves. about 15 <laughs> feet high and is going to cast a spell as you do um let's see here. no no the answer is no. no uh you have bro you didn't take subtle spell what the shit <laughs> Uh, are you going to counterspell whatever she's about to can to do? Uh, she's yeah. casting a spell. Yes, she is yeah. casting a spell. Yeah, I'm, ca I'm going to counterspell. You're going to counterspell it. All right. So she is casting, and I'm going to say because you're obviously her, she's casting um, hypnotic pattern on you guys. Oh yeah, fuck yeah! I'm going to counterspell that one. You're going to counterspell, and because it's yeah. third level, it's third it level. Yeah, goes through. However, you're she's going to counterspell my counterspell. Yeah. Does anyone else have counterspell? I, I do, so. but I only have two spell slots, and I feel like I should save them. Fair. If she counterspells the counterspell, then can she still cast her hypnotic pattern? Yeah, I don't count. Yeah. Uh, I don't count those as like. Fine, I'll counterspell it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't and fuck that, with hypnotic pattern. I will. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I will counterspell <laughs> that. It it will be at f a fourth level counterspell. All right. You didn't, oh yeah, you had, because yeah, you're higher, oh, that sucks. It just poofs away, and you see, uh, you see your little shadow cappy self scowl and hop back away from the edge. Uh, when I find, I have so many things open, she moves about 15 feet away from the edge there. 
so that it's harder for you guys to get her. Next is our lovely shadow anemone who 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, I don't think can get to anyone, but is going to charge out in front of you guys. Wait, she can dash. But that's your action, right? It, not No rogue shit. If you actually do this, you you, you go forward. That's your action. Right? What do you think? Sorry. Wait, anemone, what are you the, do? anemone can only use dash to as an action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, yeah. that's what it was. That's what yeah. I'm asking. All right. So anemone she doesn't have anything else. Anemone isn't going to run out all the way mm. to you guys, but has made herself known. Mm -hmm. Cappy, what would you like to do? How tall is this building? The one that Cappy is on? Yeah. Up it's about 15 feet up. I want to jump up there. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I'm going to get a little bit farther from the edge. So I think that's like 20 feet of movement. Oof. Okay. No, she has counterspell. What do you do? Um, I think I would like to... Um, I think what I'm going to do is, okay, tell me if this, if this will work. I want to try and lightning lure her off the roof. So, cause I'm Ooh. like right at the edge of the roof. So mm -hmm. lightning lure, uh, what, how, what's the movement for that? Um, so it's. You strike them within 15 feet of you. They can be pulled up to 10 feet in a straight line. So I think it'd pull her right to the edge of the roof. Yep. It's a strength save, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Cappy, what, what is your strength? Negative uh, one. How could this possibly go wrong? Possibly go wrong? Yeah. Um, we're going to get a 12. All right. Well, that doesn't beat a 17. Um, what does it look so, like? So, yeah, so a, like, I, you know, with my wand, a, a, just a flash of purple sparkling energy wraps around her foot and pulls her towards the edge of the roof. Um, I don't think it actually makes her mechanically prone, but that's what it is in my mind. Um, and I guess I can't just like bonus action shove her off the roof. So I'm going to have to leave it there. It's okay. I have a follow up. <laughs> but... I know exactly what you're going to do. <laughs> but she's visible. Um, so I am going to just pull her to the edge of the roof and, and go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. You didn't counterspell that one. Give me um give me an insight roll here. 14. 14. Uh that's good enough. You notice that you're you taunt them, right? And there doesn't seem to be anything there. This is just a a shadow creation there's no there's like this is a construct of shadow there's nothing there other than the fact that they've been told to do what they're doing attack hmm. uh, okay, so there's no that's, that's no like possibly. intelligence in there or no um you don't know how well i mean you can get a fair guess that they probably have whatever stats you guys have mm-hmm uh okay. Roz. Yeah. Your turn? You're up? Yeah. Um I don't love this. So don't this. So I'm trying to see. Hold on. 
I was in the wrong section of the map and things just kind of like happened. Um, so we, so to clarify, we each have a shadow version of ourselves. You do. Okay. And are they like in front of us or are they off the way or where are they? Cause I'm not. They're all on the map. See the red, yeah, the I was blue, looking, the I'm yellow. looking at the map. Okay. I see them. Okay. Um, did the, so do the colors correspond like the outer ring of, of each icon is reflective of the shadow self? Uh, no. Okay. okay. But I'll get, for you, Rosalind, she's hiding. I figured because I'm not looking, I'm not seeing her. Um, <laughs> she's there, but, the but she is hiding. So you'll have to, if you want to see her, you'll have to look for, you'll have to do a perception check. Yeah, I probably should. Uh, the DC for this is um, a 20, because that's what she rolled for hiding. Cool. Um, do I, by any chance, get advantage on that? Because I also have, like, big stealthy stuff. No. No. You're, you're not, you don't get an advantage for that this time. That's rude. Um, okay. <laughs> so that didn't work. She still sees nothing. Um, is that my entire... Oh, wait, I think I have some. You don't... That's of. not your entire turn. You can still do your, your turn. Okay. Um, I don't... I don't know what to do. You can attack... You don't have to attack just yours. That's true. Yeah, There's a whole anyone. bunch of them. We're going to get wrecked. We're yeah. getting surrounded. <laughs> That's true. All right. So I'm going to go. Let's see. I'm going to look real quick to see who's. Um, sorry. <clears throat> um, I'm going to shoot at um the blue right ahead of me okay one in the blue okay and what are you doing i'm gonna shoot it with my bow go for it my vicious long bow <laughs> i highly doubt a 10 hits anything no no it, it definitely no. like the, you see the shadow just kind of like move their head out of the way as it goes wide I'm going to try to hide. Where That's are you not hiding? working either. This is going so well for me tonight, guys. I'm super excited. Maybe. Is there something over here you can duck behind? Or like, yeah, like, is where are you here? Hiding? This, just hiding is... in, in plain sight? Because no. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I am That's very like a child's being this... covering their eyes. Like, you can't see me. <laughs> oh, okay, God. Bud. Listen, I've been... I've been doing the opera thing for the past seven weeks. That's exactly what it is. If like if the audience can't see me, I they if I can't see them, they can't see me, right? So it obviously works. <laughs> Clearly. To be fair, right. I keep trying to do that in Baldur's Gate, and it never works. And I don't learn my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I just no. keep trying anyway. <laughs> Why would this not work? <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I'm done. <laughs> All right, uh, you ran basically into some cover down here uh, to the south. Um, did you roll to hide? Yeah, Did and it was terrible. Yourself? Okay. 13. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, that is terrible. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Jess. <laughs> hey, you know what? You're behind cover, so if anyone tries to squirt you with a spell, they'll have disadvantage. That's true. That's that true. Squirt me with a spell? Yeah. Squirt like that me? Is <laughs> that is um, kind of um, gross. <laughs> I'm about to squirt some spells. On my turn. <laughs> On this turn right here. Oh. So. <laughs> All right. So. Ooh. Okay. From the darkness, you see your doppelganger, Rosalind, pop up and take aim. And they are going to aim at... Let's see. Who's on this board? They're going to aim at... Delphra here. And I'm not going to be a wuss this time. We're going to take aim. 
We're gonna we're gonna get a 14 to hit, I think. Let's see. Does that hit you, Delphra? I have a 14. So um, I'm gonna it. spend luck. Uh-huh. So that's just obviously not gonna hit because you can't get lower than a one on a one D4. Um, so it won't hit. Okay. Oh no, I'm sorry. I already counterspelled. I don't have my reaction this turn. Aw. All right. Bummer. So that is going to hit. And um, because our lovely um, rogue here is an assassin. Oh, shit. I had advantage on that too. Um, Oh, that's a, that's a crit. That first attack there is a crit. Um. No, it's not. I'm sorry, I yeah. made. I'm sorry, I made an assassin, y'all. What? Well, no, yeah, I'm... yeah, it is. The first time that you move in combat is it's a crit. So, um, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just roll. Okay. And uh, we're gonna get a sneak attack while we're while we're at <laughs> it because oh. they were hidden. Sorry. Oh, oh, so, me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start adding this up. I'm, you don't have to. I'm I'm gonna I'm do it though. I'm gonna do it though. <laughs> sure. Did what was that thing you said recently about not having a TPK? So far, I I know, uh, but then you guys were like, "Do it, do it." No, <laughs> so, we didn't. We said hurt us emotionally. We did not say kill our characters. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's that's emotional damage, things. right? <laughs> it's emotional damage, right? I they are. I am playing with what you guys created for yourselves. So let's <laughs> let's roll this here. Let's it's you have for your sneak attack, you have how many dice here? How many? Oh, one. Yeah, I'm trying to check what sneak attack. Just one. Four to six. Okay. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh that's a D eight and a D eight. They're both plus seven. No, it's just one hit, so one plus seven. It's going to do 45 damage to you. It was nice knowing you, sis. Um, you know... How bad are you looking? Um, You have 45 hit points. You're down. No, I have 53. Oh, thank God. I entered this wrong. <laughs> Don't... Not a oh, I refuse to go down. Jesus Christ, y'all. But let me tell you, um, um, Quartzly is like whimpering. Oh, cool, 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 cool. It's not. Um, cool. <laughs> and then they're going to hide. Of again. course, yeah. Of course, because of course. That's a rogue, and I'm gonna play a rogue, and they're gonna they're gonna hide really well. They're gonna do really well. Uh, Why is it that my shadow self does so well and my regular fucking self is useless right now? Why is that a thing? I I don't know, man, but Clover, you're up. Uh Uh, Okay, well, that kind of changes what I was going to do. You guys all have uh, Bardic Inspiration, by the way, by Daniel. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. I also had Inspiration Um, Potion. I did not hear that. I also had inspiration from the potion. So does that mean I have two? You have one regular inspiration that you can use as a, uh, like, with, uh, it's, you add another, it's advantage on an attack. And then this one is a D6 that you add to anything. Awesome sauce. Um, Just checking who's who on the map. This is Delphra, right? This right next to me? Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, Delphi. Okay, right fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, in that case, uh, I'm going to immediately um do the do, do the head bonk against Delphi's leg um and cast cure wounds at you're almost dead, right? I'm casting it at fourth level. I'm using one of my fourth level spell slots, of which I only have two, but I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at fourth level. Um, so do I roll that or does, uh, does Megs roll, roll that? that? Yeah. I roll it? Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so that's one D8. It's it's a D8 per spell slot, isn't it, for that, I believe? 
Um, okay. So that's nine, um, 17, 20. Uh, so that is 20, 20, 20 something. Hang on. Um, Sorry Do you about want to this. tell me? I can uh, I can add up for you. If that's the issue. Um, oh no, it's it's so it's one d eight plus my spell casting ability modifier. So I just have to go up and find out what that is. Um, so that's wisdom. So plus four, uh, twenty four points. Oh um, nice. Back to Delphra, and then I'm going to. Thank you. Can I? That's okay. Um. With my 30 feet of movement, and I have climb as well, can I get to can I get to here? Um, or is that is that too far given it's also vertical movement? Um, you can get on top of the I'll let you get to like the edge of the boxes here. There's like up here. Like here, sort yeah. of thing. Okay. Um I'm gonna I'm, I'd like to kind of try and tuck myself in. Is it possible to tuck myself in with a little bit of cover? Actually, maybe maybe here. Like yeah, you can have um. Where are we going behind. there? Yeah, you can get there and do like um. You'll have like uh. You're you're tiny. You're liquid. You're a cat. You'll have half cover. Okay, fantastic. I'm gonna. Oops. I'm gonna plonk myself in back. Where did we say here? Was it there? And About um. Here ish. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And you my... um give me you you just take cover, yeah. You'll have you're not hidden completely, but you have half cover. Okay, fantastic. Perfect. Um perfect, perfect. I think that's all I've got for now. So pretty damn next, good, man. That I mean that's a good turn. Our lovely um our lovely shadow druid is going to oh, no. bang their I stick on I, the ground and cat and call for their um shit what's your your fox's name Horsley. I'm just yeah this costs them an action so <laughs> it, it does not I don't make you call your your guy yeah, your no. guy's always with you but he they're gonna you see a little shadow Quartzly appear uh with their nine tails and mm -hmm. they're going to cast um How how cunty am I going to be right now? Oh no! <laughs> going to say all of the cunties. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna ten go out high. of ten cunties. They have one one thing to do here, and that's stop you. So <laughs> sorry. Sixty foot radius. Okay. How does this work? We're gonna call lightning on this oh, little group of people here. Each what? creature within five feet of that point must make it. Yeah, I think I'm going to reiterate throw. my 10 out of 10 cunties. That's yeah, we're going 10 out of 10 cunties. So right here, uh, Sin, Delpha, and your little, um, your little uh, Quartzly need to make a dexterity saving throw for me. As lightning comes down from the sky, light, black lightning, and hits the ground and explodes around you guys what's uh no uh let me, i I'll... just healed her jess <laughs> that, I'm... What? This? <laughs> hey uh, you designed the encounter <laughs> i know wait are you casting call lightning i am the range should only be like five feet it the... is five feet around Oh, God. Any creature within that uh, that are in five feet or of that point of origin. Uh. Oh, I see. I got an at one. Okay. Ooh. Okay. It's fine. It's only three d ten. Um. Uh, and, and um. Delphra. What'd you get? Three d ten. I have to roll for myself? No, no, no. I'm going to no. do that. I'm asking you if you passed your save. Your deck save. Oh, yeah. I got What'd an you eight. get? You got a what? Uh, 18 plus... I got 19. I, I thought you said 8. Eight. Yeah, you passed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I heard, too. You cut out, and I was like, <laughs> oh, God, no. Uh, like, yeah, totally. Second. I'm an 8. 
obviously I passed it on an eight. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe if you just say confidently <laughs> enough, it counts. <laughs> totally. I totally passed it. Uh, it's only seven damage for everybody. I rolled low. So uh, you take half okay. of that, Delphra. Um, and your your foxy takes it. Did they do their save? Oh, I forgot to even roll for him. Um... So if Delphra's fox is quartzly, is the shadow fox like obsidianly? <laughs> <laughs> onyx onyxly onyxly uh they take onyxly well. i don't even know <laughs> <laughs> but um uh... uh next in turn is anemone oh wait no it's our shadow fox i forgot that they have a movement because yours what does gets the shadow fox say not gonna lie i completely forgot i even had that honestly i think they're just gonna they're gonna they're gonna chill out next to their shadow delphra uh anemone go on um just so that i know what's going on this one is um this one right here that's mm -hmm. the shadow delphra nope right no nope. or is it this that's one that's here? that one over there is shadow delphra yeah this one yes Okay, and then this one. Um, I'm not gonna make it easy for you at the first round, guys. Because, mm -hmm, uh -huh. because um, I just saw this individual uh get both my friends here. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, it's pretty dark here, correct? Yes. We're going to throw the short sword at the Shadow Delphra. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. I love that you just throw your weapons. The Spartacus, um, god damn it. Eight plus seven. Okay. That would be a 17? No, 15? Uh, oh, that's no, eight, eight plus seven. seven is 15. Six, yeah, 15. Uh, that hits. Beauty. Um... And then they will take balls. Uh, six points of damage. Technically, it's slashing because it's a short sword, unless you want to make it piercing because I'm aiming for their head. Oh, it's totally cool. Don't worry. Either it doesn't matter for that, they still take the damage. Beauty. Uh, so do they have like a short sword sticking out from the, their forehead? <laughs> no. Damn it. Uh, I'm going to say that it because they're a little, because it's far and whatever, you kind of like, you see it get into their arm, but also they yank it out. Mm. No blood. Fair, fair, fair. No blood. That's no blood. Fine. That is fine. Um, we will also use action search. Okay. Oh, I have extra attack. You have no. another attack. You I have do. two attacks. You're a fighter. I do, I do, I do, I do. Uh, my second attack, I'm going to move forward. So I'm in range of my shadow self. So you run right up to your shadow self? Yep. And I will then swing my void strike blade. Or because I'm trying to aim against my, my, my AC. Good job. Good job, me, for making a really strong AC. 18. <laughs> 18. Uh, your AC is 17, so that works. Sweet. Um, so I managed to hit them. So I will use Versatile, so it'll be 1d10. Plus, because I hit them, um, are they a creature of darkness? They are a creature of darkness. Beauty. So they will take an additional 1d6 of radiant damage. Sounds good to me. Uh, that will be eight plus uh, four. So 12 points. Four, the four points is radiant. Okay. Okay. But total is 12 points of damage. Plus two. So 14. 
And then um, I feel like this is going to be important. Um, I am going to utilize fighting spirit, where as a bonus action, you can give yourself advantage on weapon attack rolls until the end of the next of the current turn and give yourself five temporary HP. So I will give myself five temporary HP just because I feel like that's going to be important at some point. Very smart. Very smart. Is that your turn? Yes, that should pass. Okay. So now from the top of the building, the other building, we have our little shadow sin. The gothest of goths. Um, what are you gonna do? What is bountiful luck? I didn't even look at this. I think Gone. that's a feat that I have that I forgot to use. I want to be. How okay. very lucky for her. Let me see. <laughs> when an ally you can see rolls a one. Oh, I could have used that. Oh, oh, you can let your ally re-roll the die. Yeah, you could have okay. used that. Actually, I don't have a reaction, so. And it's an ally, not myself. When an ally you can see within 30 feet of you rolls a one on the d20, uh, you can use a reaction to let them re-roll it. Lucky racial trait? Okay. Why do I That's have this handy. as a racial trait? Oh, wait a second. Time out. I should not have that. That is a halfling trait that is, for some reason, in my... Was that accidentally given to me? I am not sure. I don't think so. I don't I don't think I'm supposed to have that. That's but a halfling's ability. We'll deal with that for the next game. Okay. I guess you have it for this game. Okay. Cool. I'm suddenly half size. <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna Eldritch Blast. Of course they're gonna Eldritch Blast. Why wouldn't you? You are a warlock. Fine. Who do we see? Who do we see? Uh, Anemone's right here. They're going to uh. aim at Anemone. And they're going to Eldritch Blast. Let's roll. Let's roll to hit. Where is it? It's plus eight. You, you're really nice. Two beans. Okay. And we're not going to hit with either of those. It goes wide. Uh, you, right beside you, on either side of you, you feel two just necrotic blasts of force energy hit either side of you, Anemone, but not actually manage to hit you. Um, and that is her turn. Um, Shadow Clover. Shadow Clover, what are we doing? You're a trickster cleric. Where yep. Are you? Yeah. Okay. What are we doing with this? I mean, this feels like it's a good idea to me then. Um, how far is this? It's in 60 feet. How far are you, Sin? I'm just right here. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. You're good. Okay. Um, can I have from you? Darling, can I have a a wisdom saving throw? That's me, right? Yes. Okay, I can do that. Which one is Shadow Clover? Because she has just cast a spell, I'm going to show you. Right. I here. got a. I got a twenty-two. Twenty-two. You pass. You're good. You start to feel your bones begin to shift. And your skin begin to ripple as a polymorph spell has been cast on you. And immediately you hear Nexaria's voice in your head say, that won't do. And you pass. Oh. Feeling goes. Oh, thank God. The darkness. <laughs> uh, Delphra. Who attacked me again? Um, it um, was it was uh, Shadow Rosalind and um, and yourself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Rosalind, the one that almost like 
This one right here. Okay. Yeah, okay. She is hidden, so I need a perception check to see her. Okay. 15. 15. Um, let's see. She got a 22 to hide. I don't think you see her. Damn. Okay, I am going to attack myself by um, of producing a flame and just hurling it at her. All right. Um, and that is a nineteen to hit. Yeah, then you hit yourself. I hit myself. You hit yourself. I hit myself. Great. You smack yourself across the face. <clears throat> <laughs> happens on a daily basis but we're not going to talk about that some people enjoy that okay uh, not sure i'm that person um mathing hard 14 it's yeah 14 damage right wasn't sure if i added anything to that uh let's add that there you hear a like high-pitched kind of like hiss escape that area as you light your shadow self on fire um they are they are not doing well Okay, so they don't have the same HP as us. Great. I'm happy with this. It's good to know. Uh, your fox, is your fox doing anything? My fox is also going to attack. Uh, it's going to use its flame seed. And that is a ooh, 17 to hit. Yeah, you hit. You're hitting yourself? Yeah, I'm hitting myself again. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Murder yourself. Um, nine fire damage. Nine fire damage. They continue to scream. Um... Well done. Well done. Uh, is that, that's Foxy's turn, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sin. Okay. Unleash, um, un unleash the havoc. Yeah. I'm deciding the how much, how havoc I want to be. Um. <laughs> Oof. Anemone, you're in the way. <laughs> I know. I've been doing that same measurement. <laughs> I don't want to hit you. Oh my god! <laughs> give me a moment, okay? I'm sorry. I can't give a moment. You know, side I'll... step five feet and then move back to the same place. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, this creature starts its turn or moves there. Got it. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm gonna keep it simple at first. I am going to. Where is evil Cappy? Which which one of these is evil Cappy? Even Cappy the, is on this building over here. Yeah, I'm gonna. I Cappy. would like to cast Eldritch Blast at Evil Cappy. A hundred percent. Um, let me just roll it in D and D Beyond. Um. Oh, before I do that, I got a twenty-one. But I would also like to invoke my uh warlock ability, which makes me the the one that you gave me. Where with my bonus action, uh, where I basically start to glow in a moonlight, my eyes go like white, my black eye turns white, my black roots turn white, uh, and I start screaming in celestial. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> um, question: So I currently, because I'm a uh, fifth level or eighth level i get two rolls of eldritch blast it mm -hmm. kind of is like having a multi-attack i get an extra die does is that an extra die because i have to roll separately for each of the eldritch blasts is that an extra die for each of those or is it just 
to the first one. Yeah, for each of those. Okay, cool. In that case, let's go ahead and and with this first Eldritch Blast, I'm going to invoke my um uh my Eldritch incantation grasp of Hadar, and I'm gonna basically drag it right off the roof. Nice. Okay. Uh there is no save or anything because nope, they I, just go uh, down. Yeah, and that's just, 15 feet, geez. which means that's a couple d6 here. Let me just roll the damage for them. Okay, and let me roll my... Um, where's my... So that first attack is going to do 12, 30, 40, 15 radiant damage. Actually, it's going to do... It's going to do 28. Is it because... weak to radiant? No, it's because you pulled it off the roof <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm like so i feel like i just like throw my hand and this like moonbeam grasps it and like like tightens it and then i just like a, like a whip just whoosh, and uh brings it down and then as it brings it down i'm gonna like swing my hand again like a second i guess we're flavoring my eldritch blasts as whips how about that That's let sexy. me roll i love it <laughs> let me roll my second one uh that will be a 23 yeah you hit the captain does not have i mean she's not the worst armored here but not in the 20s but not 23 yeah <laughs> 23. Uh, that's gonna be um 16 radiant damage so that's um, my bonus action and my action She's barely hanging on. Like, I'm not even going to make you roll for this. Her shadows are, are like, fighting to stay in form. Oh, man. I don't... I got nothing else I can do physically. Uh, I can, however. Is there anywhere I could maybe take cover? Like, any anywhere? Because I feel oh. a bit out in the open. What about, oh, like, definitely in... Bar. Let's see here. Well, let's um, can I stand There's behind like this? some rubble yeah. and shit here. Yeah, can I stand you can, behind? You can, but you will get an the shadow cappy will get an opportunity attack on you. Even if they're prone? Uh, you could still attack from prone, can't you? I don't or know. Wouldn't you be a disadvantage if you did? It might be a disadvantage. I should, I assume you can. See, Cappy I mean, is a... Cappy uh, is like, but a also, she's a spellcaster. Spell it's not yeah. going to do anything. I don't <laughs> think you have... You Warp. don't even have like Warcaster or anything. Honestly, just run. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna take cover over here, like kind of like just so I'm not like out in the open. Yeah, you run into the boxes that where Clover yeah. is, and just also kind of, like, duck down. I, I want to be next to my heel kitty. You know. Yeah. Uh, you have. You I'll see say two you little about, eyes blinking uh, at half you. Cover, not half cover. Uh, quarter cover. One quarter cover. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So, because there are some boxes you're crouching behind. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna say though, as Shadow Cappy hits the floor, they are not appreciative of the damage that they just took, and um, it happens to be their turn. So, <laughs> uh -oh. just so happens. Am I in twelve? Just so happens to be their turn. Am I in twelve? They're going to quicken spell. No, they're going to twin spell this, I think. Is that what you have? Let me see. Go up here. Twin spell and quicken spell. So I can cast two spells or I can double one spell. Let's see. I'm going to... I'm going to need... <clears throat> twin, we're going to twin this spell. And I'm going to need a wisdom saving throw from... from who's here i'm like looking uh you didn't hide so rosalind and uh and because they can still see you uh sin wisdom saving throws your dc is 17 wait i'm gonna 20. counter spell this is this is this polymorph might be i got a I'm dirty gonna, 20 i'm gonna so counter spell it what I'm was it again i think i have to say that i'm gonna counter spell it before you guys fail, pass or fail yeah, you're oh. gonna. I'm. I'm not okay. too like. I'm honestly not too picky about that. Uh, you counterspell it. Um, yeah. So I have to roll. Perfect. That is, you do have to roll for that. Yeah. <sighs> um. Okay. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna 
do whatever I can to reroll that. Um, I'm going to get advantage on, I'm going to use Tides of Chaos to get advantage okay. on this spell. I mean, on this uh, roll. All right. What'd you get? Oh, uh, I got a 12. Yeah, that's not, that's not going to cut it. Not so what, what were we rolling again? I'm sorry. Wisdom. You can oh, add a D6. Oh, go. okay. Let me, let me do that. Let me add my D6. Because Daniel's awesome. So. Daniel, is that you? <laughs> Daniel. Oh, it's not going well. What the fuck is going on with my rolls tonight? Jesus. They're, they're all really fucking low. Mine are pretty good. Oh, so I so I <laughs> counterspell it. I got the with the bardic, I counterspell it. Oh, okay. cool, cool. Let's see. How many how many counterspells do you have left, Cappy here? Um, they're gonna counterspell that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll take those wisdom saving throws. Hey, we're burning we're burning their spell slots. Yeah. They've got they, they've got six hate points left, guys. They're barely keeping it together. Okay, I got a uh, dirty 20. You're fine. Uh, Rob? What the hell? Sevens in a row. Two sevens in a row. What the hell? I see. Ro mm -hmm. Rosalind, you're a rat. <gasps> your, body, your body bends. Your bones break. You feel your skin move. Well, out of all the fucking you things you could have picked. You're, you're a rat. All the um, things you could have picked. Love you so much. Huh? Um, my little cute little rat. So Fine, cute. she's gonna she's gonna find a fucking to thimble fair, her head. God damn it! Does does Rosalind then get like full cover, total cover, because she's yeah, Ro tiny now? Yeah, I don't think anyone sees you anymore, Rosalind. But you do have the staff of a rat. Just FYI. How so, the fuck do I? How? So all I gotta do. You're a rat now. You've been polymorphed. So all I we understand. gotta do really is sh just step on her and she'll turn back. Oh. Yeah. You more or less, <laughs> she's got like a hit point or something like yeah, that. Like, yeah, all we gotta do is is You just her. gotta murder her and she'll Mommy, be fine. Mommy. Um Shadow Anemone is gonna go next. And because Anemone is right in front of her, let's let's see what we're doing here. Bonus action two drop. Okay, so we are going to once per roll. Okay. Oh man, you're a freaking battle master. I like made these and I don't even remember what you guys do. This is a new it's like it's all new to me all over again. Um cool. We're gonna we're gonna multi-attack right in front of you. We're going to use this Dragon Slayer sword. I'm going to make two Ooh. attacks. So we're going to miss with one because that's a four. 16, 19, 19 to hit. You have 17 armor, right? Yep. But as a reaction, I'll use. I'll use Stone's Endurance. Which adds a D12 plus two, right? Yeah, to reduce the damage. Okay. Yeah, that will definitely make it miss. Um, I think they're going to axe and surge and do it one more time. And they're going to get a 17 and a a 21. So do you still, does that add for the rest of this turn, by the way? Uh, no, it's just as a reaction, I just reduce damage dealt to myself what by 1d12 plus 2. Okay. I just so reduce they... the damage. And action surge, I believe, is a bonus action, right? Nope. No? You just you can just do it? You just do it. You just okay, get an so extra let's... action. It's like Roll. once every long rest or short yeah. rest. Yeah. Um, so you just need to reduce like minus 8. So whatever the damage dealt to me is it'll uh -huh. be the damage minus eight it's minus eight lot. yeah minus eight i rolled a i rolled an eight i rolled a six plus two so 
whatever, so whatever too. your, so Support. with the attack that you gave me, um, mm -hmm. you'll have to roll because you were able to attack me and you were able to hit me three times. Yes. I believe. Yes. Minus one. Um, you'll have to roll 66 plus nine. I'm like, sorry, hang on. I'm messing a shadow on Emily up as I do this. 66 okay. plus nine? Yep, 6d6 six, plus nine. So we're very clear. That's 66. Plus nine. <laughs> plus nine. Two of them missed you. Two of them missed me. Yeah, so it's only 4d6. Um, yeah, either way. So the first one, the first attack that hits you is uh, an 11 points of damage. All okay. right. Um, the second one that hits you is 12 points of damage. Okay. Plus six. So 29 points. So minus eight is 21 points of total damage. Yes. Okay. The second thing that they're going to do is they're going to do um, a commander strike and mm -hmm. they're going to have forgo one of your attacks. Oh, no. She already used her attacks. Never mind. Yep, yep, yep. Kathy. All right. Um, can I take a cube and, um, you know, angle it? So instead of <laughs> a cube, uh, like, a cube. on the, on the, on the app, on, on the map, map. on the yes, map. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can do diagonal stuff. Cool. So with that in mind, I want to make a 40 foot cube that would, um, include blue, red, and purple. Okay. And I'm going to um, cast Hypnotic Pattern. Do it. Um, so um, <laughs> with my magic wand, I start to spin up a, a rainbow um, pattern. And it shifts and swirls um, within all of their vision. Um, and they have to make a DC 17 wisdom saving throw. Okay. As your beautiful... Um, what is that thing called? Hypnotic pattern begins to uh, take over the sky. Uh, you see a bolt of that necrotic energy hit it, and Shadow Sin dispels it or counterspells this it. This counterspells it? Well, then yeah. I'm going to counterspell the counterspell. You've already used your counterspell, haven't you? This round? It's, no, this my, is your, it's a new turn. Motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, do it. Yeah. <sighs> That's gone. <laughs> Um, right. So counterspell the counterspell. I counterspell your counterspell. Okay, counter so spell. DC 17. Yes. DC 17 wisdom. Wisdom saving throw. Let's see here. Oh, um, question for you. Mm hmm Hypnotic pattern, is it charm? Um, oh, good question. Yes, it's charmed. Okay, so regardless of what they roll, it doesn't seem to affect them as they are immune to being charmed. Oh, Paka. I'm sorry. All elves. Okay. <laughs> hey, you uh, got, you got, shadow um, let me check okay, no, let me check you got shadow sin no, to burn no. a, a spell slot. No, you that's did. okay. Because, because I can quicken spell something. So, um, Ooh. I'm going to, I'm going to quicken spell. And, um, so this blue one right here is shadow and shadow and Emily, right? Uh, let me check. Sorry. Got to go back. Yes. That is shadow and Emily. Okay. I am going to, um, look at shadow and Emily. I'm going to cast polymorph on shadow and Emily. To what? To a worm worm um okay an evil worm. Worm. worm not not a good noble worm like sir worrington not sir yeah. worrington worm um they roll a fifth no wait that's that's not you gotta go up and get your stats they roll a 12 they so. don't pass yay you see shadow anemone turn into a worm beside you anemone <laughs> and they now have the stats of a worm <laughs> Hey, don't smush <laughs> that worm. Um, <laughs> keep it, keep it, 
keep it wormy. <laughs> keep it wormy. Okay. Yeah. Keep keep it wormy. Keep, keep, keep it wor- Because if you smush it, it comes back. <laughs> Rosalind. I don't fucking know what I can do now. <laughs> you can still fight. Can I? Yes. Oh, oh wait, shit no, to do. you're a you're a fucking fight rat. Someone? <laughs> You can fight someone. I can fight someone. <laughs> Who's the one that like... has like no hit points left? Um, the one uh the white one. I'm gonna bite that one. So like on arm strike, I imagine. Uh you have to have you have rat stats, so they have a bite. Okay, yeah. I don't know what rat stats are, Jessica. Okay, I will look those up for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to... you're like you rat stats. I don't fucking know what that means. Um I want to do shit. That's what I know. I'm pretty sure that, that for you right now. I'm pretty sure that's Shadow Cappy who um, polymorphed you in the first place. So that seems mm-hmm. like good re- retribution to go and bite them. Yeah, that sounds right. So you have a plus zero to an attack, and you do one d one piercing damage. <laughs> How many hit points do you have? You have um ten. What is hit points? One hit point. So I mean, you're easily murdered. <laughs> but hey, if you bite them, they have to do a concentration save. So if you bite you yourself, know. you will become Rosalind again. Okay, um, <laughs> that's fine. I'll do that. The f- fucking hell, dudes. Everybody's dudes tonight. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna roll d20 and see what happens. A 13 probably doesn't do shit to Shadow Cappy. Yeah, do you are you gonna move over there? Yeah, okay. Um, 13, 13. Cappy's armor is 15, so mm, 17. Okay. That sucks a lot. Unless she didn't cast mage armor today. No, she did not cast mage armor, no. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's free because she's got a staff, so that's kind of stupid, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll move on here. Um, mm-hmm. Clover. Um, sorry, I've got... Uh, blanked out there. All right. So, um, so Shadow Cappy is hanging on by a thread, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm going to bonus action cast spiritual weapon at third level, right next to um, Shadow Cappy. Okay. Um, and I believe I can do a strike on the first. Um, when I when I make it appear, right? I can I can immediately yes. do an attack yeah, with it. Yeah, you can attack. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So um, that was probably going to be a fail. So I'm going to use a luck point to re-roll that. Oh god, that was even worse. Shadow Cat is just a... holding on for dear life. Can I spend two luck points like yes. on the same roll? Or yeah, yeah. I can. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to try one more time. You could do it. You wait. Don't you That's have bardic better. inspiration? You do have bardic. Go I do. You have a d six. I do, but I rolled a six followed by a three. Oh, oh that's fair. That's not going to work. Okay, um, but the th- on the third one, after spending two luck points, I got an eighteen on the die. So that's something. All right. Um, I assume that hits. Yes. What's your damage? Um, so damage is. I'm so sorry. Is it two d eight for? Uh, 2d6, I believe. Right? For uh, your... Uh, I think... Oh, it's d8s. Um, so, yeah. Oh, okay. 2D... Perfect. Do it. 2d8, because I did it at third level. Okay. Um, so, 6 plus my wisdom, which is uh, plus 4. So, that's 10 points of damage to Shep what Cappy. Your, what does your shadow or uh, what does your spiritual weapon look like by the way um okay so my 
my spiritual weapon looks like um you know those cat toys where it's like a stick with a string and it's got like feathers on the end <laughs> so it looks like that but it's kind of like used as a I don't what do you call that weapon you know the, the baton thing. yeah basically oh it's, a, it's a basically a baton oh that's that amazing smacks shadow cappy and shadow um, the moment you hit shadow cappy she poofs into nothingness and <laughs> a <laughs> and Rosalind, who is beside her in rat form, kind of just poofs up beside her. Beautiful. Uh, we love. <laughs> okay. What's your um, actual what's your action? With my action, um just I can't heal anybody this turn, but just out of curiosity, who who is quite hurt at the moment? Nobody? I'm mm -hmm. okay. Okay. I haven't been hit. Oh, okay. Um, gosh, well, in that case, um, all right, since nobody kind of needs me at the moment on the healing front, then I'm just going to use my channel divinity um, to do a cloak of shadows to become invisible until my next turn. I want, like, full, full cover. I you love how you invisible. accidentally went, like, full guilt mom. Like, well, since nobody needs me right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> I know that wasn't intentional, but, like, no, it was not, so not intentional. <laughs> nobody needs me. <laughs> uh, Shadow Delphra, uh, what are we doing? Is that your turn? Yep, that's me. Okay. Shadow Delphra still has so many spell slots left. I hate that for her. Or for us, I suppose. For, for you guys. Um, Sorry. Oh, oh, that's a good one. How dare you build Don't a good character? That. I want uh, to. Who's so? I believe we have someone wearing chain or or metal armor. Uh, anemone, your armor is metal, right? Uh. All right, it's Mithril. Mithril. Okay, so we're gonna heat metal that. Um, Let's go. We're gonna heat metal that. That is. Oh, that's we're gonna do evil. Your chest plate, so that you actually have to fit, take that off. Um, that's two d eight fire damage when you cast the spell. We're gonna do that, and then it's disadvantage on your attacks, and you have to. You have to. You're not holding anything, so. I don't think you have to do the con. I'm holding my sword, which is also made out of metal. So we, yeah, we can only do like... one item. We can only okay. do one item and we're gotcha. going to do your chest plate. Okay. Uh, say, so... Wouldn't it like not count because you're holding like the, the end of it wouldn't be metal. The end of it would be covered in like leather or something like yeah, probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seven fire damage. And um, uh, yes, that will. You'll have disadvantage on your attacks after this. Okay. Um, that's going to be her turn. She's also going to have her fox, um, fiery teleport them 15 feet to an unoccupied spot. Oh, gosh. Uh, and they're going to, 5, 10, 15, they're going to take about, a, they're going to have about a quarter cover. Why is this not clickable? Because you're on the wrong layer. You on the wrong layer? I didn't bring you to the token layer because I'm cool like that. Uh, we're going to put them over here and they're going to have quarter cover. Uh, that's their turn. Anemone, it is your turn. Anemone, take at least a... S if you can just do whatever you're about to do over here and farther. Like, like right here? Like anywhere that's not here or closer because I'm preparing a big ranged <laughs> or a big area if, thing and i don't want to catch you in it if i move over here will that affect your spell um i would let me see uh you should be safe there okay um anemone will hiss feeling the heat and the burn on her chest plate and feeling that this isn't great this isn't a good position uh she's actually just going to use her bonus action uh for 
fighting spirit so I can give myself advantage on a weapon attack rolls until the end of the current turn, which you be, discount you be, yep, beats yep. the thing. And then I'll give myself another five temporary HP because screw that. <laughs> and um, Anemone is going to sidestep step here. They can't um, hit you. They're a worm. So don't yeah, worry no. about She's your opportunity gonna... attack. They just wiggle. <laughs> um, so as they wiggle, okay. And then that means I can move. Shit. Okay. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, no. Anemone hidden. stepped on a worm. Um, they moved don't over do that. here, right? That would be don't bad. Do and how oh, about over here? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Once, Just making sure I have my allies. your polymorph form is down to zero hit points, you fall out of the polymorph and are back to normal. So, how, oh, I see. How, Wait, okay, that's straight. How much movement would it take for me to get up on this roof next to this buddy? Uh, you have, so what's the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You wouldn't be able to do it this, this round. It would be next. Okay. Well, again, that's anemones. 15 feet up. Anemone is going to go up to 20 yeah. feet. Look at this person straight in the face. She doesn't have a sore sword anymore uh, because she threw it. She threw it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so is there is there a rock? That you could just try and whip rock? out there. Yep. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff around you. Do you want to just grab a rock and try and throw it? Oh yeah, she's gonna okay. find something that's heavy to just smack it, smack it, beep. Uh, throw, throw a decent sized piece of uh debris. Go okay. for it. Um, unarmed attack. Yes. Okay, she'll use both of her attacks to do this. Um, whoops, <laughs> that's a d twelve. That's a d twelve. That's a d twelve. That's a d twelve. One second. One second. One second. <laughs> Why? Okay, fine. That's an eleven. Okay, okay, okay. Shadows in. Let's see here. Does 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 a third? Hmm. You does just a third. Does, just kind of does, wildly does a, throw them. Yes, and they I don't am. hit. Does a they do not. Hit. They don't hit. Okay. Um. Good. Good to know. Good to know. That's fine. That's my action. Okay. Shadow Sin, who is now currently ducking out of the way of flying debris, is just like, I've had enough of this. Um, and they're going to, what are they going to do? They're going to, how many, you don't have any spell slots left, bro. Yeah, you, you used them all. That's fine. We're, we can still just blast as you do <laughs> they're going to come up here let's see here they're gonna run up to the edge here they're gonna look down at you and emily who's been chucking pieces of of debris at them and they're gonna blast at you i'm going to see if this works what's the plus, plus the type? Um, and that's going to be a 21 to hit and a 17, 25. Okay. I'm assuming that both of those hit. They do. I have your stats. They do. Uh, and they're going to do, first one's going to do 11 force damage to you. And the second one is going to do eight. And that's okay. their turn. That's 19 total. Okay. Shadow um, Clover. Yes. Anemone is really banged up and beaten. Uh, she is probably very close to bloodied. God. Shadow Clover. Dispels. Your... Um, your spirit weapon, Clover. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Shit. Damn it. <laughs> oh fuck me. Damn it. Um, <laughs> that's gonna be their turn. 
<laughs> Damn it. Delphra. I like spaced out. What happened? Uh Shadow Clover dispelled Clover's uh um spiritual weapon. Oh. Rude. You shadow clover. <laughs> <laughs> rude. So rude. Oh fuck, that was really funny. Um <laughs> yeah, Delphra. Okay, so an enemy. You said you're feeling like not the greatest. You can see that Anemone's got like burn marks from where there's Eldritch Blast all over her. You can see that she was even scarred. Her breast, her her mithril breastplate, which she usually shines and polishes because moonlight business um, is half down her chest, and she's got like a, this massive burn mark across her her chesticles and um it's just <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh chesticles uh, I thought you, just, at first i just... thought you were saying your breasts were burned and i'm like that that she is interesting her breasticles are burned her chesticles, you know this area oh. right here um oh. scarred it's bad it's it's terrible she's bleeding profusely but she's like just a flesh wound it's fine it's just a flesh wound <laughs> it's all fine okay um, I am going to move at somehow. I'm going to move right up to an enemy. And I'm going to cast a uh, third level cure wounds. Oh, nice. Teamwork. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Delphra, thank you. That was, I'm in pain. 16 plus 21 to heal. Thank you so much. Oof. The scarring, there will be scarring on her chest for a long time, but it's now less red and ugly looking. No. Scars are cool though. Two All the scars. Cool. Now, um, who's blue here? That's worm anemone. That's the worm and wormony. Wormony. Yeah. Wormony. <laughs> wormony. Yeah. Um Quartzley is going to flame say to Wormony. What? Oh, don't. No, don't. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Go for no. it. <laughs> no. Don't ever want, do it just last We want Wormany to stay a Wormany right now. Crowd control. It's crowd control. As long as he's a worm, <laughs> he can't attack us. But if it's a worm, it can also die. Yeah, if you kill no. it. No, no, no if no, you no. kill it, it will then turn back to its original form. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. That's why we were telling the rat, bite yourself, kill yourself, <laughs> come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I would allow it if she didn't have two intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and red is something. Red is hiding. You need to do a perception check to see that. Uh, oh, yeah. That Did bit. I just like miss her? Yeah, uh, I fully skipped her turn, but whatever. It's cool. Whatever. How much range does this thing have? I'm gonna flame seed the magenta one. Okay. The clover. It's gonna be a crit. Rich away. Crit away with my crit, uh... crit, crit, crit. Your nine tails just quartzly just is like out for blood. Five, five, five whole damage with the crit. I I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not know me by now? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I try so hard to give you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, sin. Okay. I'm going to cast my gaze in this direction. 
And I, I'm going to try to create, uh, how do I, I want to make a circle, but I want it to be the appropriate size. I have no idea. Uh, I barely use this other than to show you guys maps. One, two, three. Because when I don't have maps, people get mad. It'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, that's not right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I believe that's how big it is. Now can I, nope. Now can I move this? No. Yes, I can. Can you? Yeah, look at that. Wait, I might be able to help you. Where do you want to put it? Oh, I did. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, wow. You'd be able to select it and move it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm basically putting these three folks in a beam of, like a moonbeam is going to go. Oh, and okay, cool. I am casting sickening radiance dim greenish light well we don't have to say it's greenish we could say it's it can be whatever you like luna it's luna ish maybe with a dark side maybe it's like a moon but there it's yeah you can't tell as you look at it flickers from full moon to new moon um let's see the light spreads around corners and it lasts until the spell ends when a creature so they don't have to do anything yet but what happens is at the start of their turn if they're in there or if they move into it, they're going to have to make a constitution saving throw. Mm-hmm. My DC is 14. That's it. Wow. That's, that's it. Why do I stop? 14. What eh. Or take 40, 10 radiant damage, suffer one level of exhaustion and emit a dim greenish light in a five foot radiant. So that makes it impossible for the creature to benefit from being invisible. Which completely will make the hiding able to hide. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, that's a good spell. Okay. Okay. Amazing. And now that that is done, I am going to kind of like duck behind these boxes to get a little bit better cover. I'm going to be trying to like just. <laughs> uh, you have quarter cover, right? Oh, those boxes. Uh, yeah, you yeah. have half. Okay. Um. Yeah. You got half cover. That's awesome. We go up to Shadow Anemone, who's a worm and just kind of worms about. Um, <laughs> Cappy. Yeah. Um, thank you for illuminating our enemies because I can't see. Um, yep. I'm going to cast Chaos Bolt on uh, Shadow Delphra uh, and I'm going to upcast that to se- second level. Oh my God. Wait. Uh, you're. I'm so bad at this. You're uh, wild magic. Yes? Yeah. I've been rolling. I haven't hit a wild magic surge Okay. Yet. Let me know when you do. And then. Yeah. Because I, I completely forget every time. Yeah. I unfortunately have never hit a one. Um, fortunately or unfortunately. Um, so um, sickening radiance doesn't give me any sort of advantage or anything. Does it? Uh, I'll make it so that you can see them. So you could, you're, okay. you won't be at disadvantage for anything. Uh, so that's a 15 to hit. Uh, for Shadow Delphra? Mm-hmm. That, that hits. Okay. Um, oh! I, um, I rolled two eights. So that means it bounces to somebody else. So not only did I roll max damage, um, but it also goes to somebody else. So I'm going to hit it over to purple. Um, uh, within five roll- feet, right? Um, I know I think it's within 30 feet. Oh, 100 um, if it is, then yeah, totally. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, a different creature of your choice within 30 feet. Awesome. So it's gonna do um because I upcast it's gonna do 25 damage to Shadow Delphra. Um oh, Shadow Delphra disintegrates <laughs> as does so uh so no more heat metal as they're gone and Shadow Fox is gone as well. Um and then you hit, uh, you hit sin, uh, clover, not sin. Shadow clover. Yeah. And that's going to be, um, oh, and I can, I, eight is what is eight? Eight is thunder damage. Um, and then it's going to hit, um, uh, shadow clover for 16 damage. And that's going to be five and a two. Um, that's going to be lightning damage. Okay. Um, 
Yeah. Is that your yeah, turn? I think that's it. That is that is it for me. Well done. Well done. Uh Rosalind. So um she is going to try shooting at her um shadow self. She seems to be like can she see her? Uh not yet. It has to be at the start of their turn. So they're still oh, hiding it first. Okay. She goes next after you. If you want to cool. hold your turn, I'll allow yeah. you to do that. Yeah, I would love yeah? that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So she Rosalind. Becomes visible. You hold your turn. I'm gonna roll to see what she fails. Her con save horribly. Um, so if you want to roll the damage for me. Yeah. I would love oh, that. <laughs> You. She's got to do her her uh, sickening radiance damage. Um, which one do I which one do I do? Uh, Scarlet has Just... to do sickening radiant. Hang on. Oh, oh sorry, oh, sorry, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, I was totally spaced out. Um, did no, they I fail was their... just trying to figure out how I was going to do it. It didn't make any sense. Did they uh save? Mm, they no. failed. They failed. Oh, good goodness me. Okay. Please take 29 radiant damage and suffer yes, one bitch. level of exhaustion. God damn. Blast oh, them that's a good week. spell. You see Amazing. them immediately. Now you can now you can shoot at them. Yep, yep, yep. Lights on fire. Yeah. <laughs> 21 hit. Yes, that I'm hits. assuming because I know my own AC, so yeah, I'm yeah, assuming that, I... hits. that definitely yeah. hits. Sweet. But do I also get the thing? What thing? Sneak attack. Uh you if would have I advantage, wish. right? You have advantage on the attacks then if they're if they're lit up, if you can see it's, them. It's not no? fairy fire. No. Okay. They so don't have do that's that's not part of the effect. They just can't go invisible. Okay, so 11. 11 damage. Oof. Oof. All right. They're looking pretty rough. Looking pretty rough, I have to say. As we um, should. Okay, and I'm going to do, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stealth. I'm going to hide. hide? Yeah, so All I'm going right. to move over here, and I'm going to try to hide. We'll see what happens. Uh, give, me, give me a stealth check. 15. It's not great, uh, but it's not terrible. That's it's not terrible. Bad. You hide. Well, you you hide. Yeah, you hide. Cool. That's it. Uh, let's That's it for, the, see here. for the elf situation. So Shadow Rosalind is actually going to. Uh... Shadow Rosalind's the one that just took all that damn right. Yeah. Okay. 20, 20. They're just gonna run over and just step on Worm Anemone. <laughs> And Worm Anemone oh, is going to come back into play. Cool. That sneaker. Uh, and that's going to be her turn. Because that's an attack. I was going to make her shoot her, but then I was like, uh, just run over. No one can see you hide anyway. Or any, so shooting a worm would be kind of hard. Yeah, that too. Uh, Clover. You're invisible. Um, okay, so I am invisible, but I am also pissed that other Clover um dispelled oh, my spiritual <laughs> weapon. Um, so I'm just, just I'm gonna pissing. pop up on top, gonna pop up on top of those crates there, and even though I'm still invisible, I'm just gonna start hissing, um, and um, like you get. Uh, so guiding bolt is not lightning, but I would like to flavor it that I have like little lightning static sparks in my mm-hmm. whiskers as I send a guiding bolt at Shadow Clover because I am <laughs> fucking pissed that she dispelled my spiritual. Weapon. You're like, Wah! I love it. <laughs> yeah, um, sixteen on the die plus eight or something, so that should definitely yeah, hit. I believe. Uh, yeah, sixteen plus eight. Um, okay, so. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, two, uh, four, six, nine, ten. It's just ten damage, I think, but that's better than nothing. That's pretty good. Um, she's going down. And that's that's a radiant. If that makes a difference. 
It does not for these guys. But I love that one of your tankiest members is a cat, a little house cat. <laughs> um, is that your uh, I should I should have upcast that. Um, I don't think I have any bonus actions that I can do. Uh, so I'm just going to duck back down behind the crate to get my half cover again. Okay. Uh, Nemi, you are not on fire anymore, by the way. That's a relief. Happy about that. Um, the <laughs> individual up here, um, they just got injured, correct? That would be Roz, I think. That's, that's yeah, that's um, Sin. Oh, that's Sin. Shadow Sin? That's Shadow Sin. Cool. Um, Anemone is going to take 10 feet, move up uh, close with Shadow Sin, wave, grab her, grab her, so she can throw her. Okay. Uh make <laughs> do you want to shove her? You want to shove her right off the freaking I do. I do. And Athletic. I will shove her in throw such her into a this. way. I want Athletic. to shove her in such a way that it's not just merely just shoving. It is then I'm gonna take <laughs> you another pick her, five feet. You, you pick her up by the like the way you wedgie like the wedgie pick up and yeah. Just, so bam. the goal is to try to make a thirty foot shove motion, <laughs> maybe a roundhouse <laughs> kick in the head. Okay, just uh, give for, me an honor for, of attack. For, yes, and Emily, come on. Okay, 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 wait, 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 Sixteen, uh, I believe one hit. Let me check. Uh, Shadow said that has sixteen armor. That hits. Yeah, yep. that hits. Sweet. Um, it's like just an arm on the strike, so it's like three, three full bludgeoning as she brown has kicks and smashes. Okay, so she'll because she's fifteen feet up and she's going thirty feet. She'll mm-hmm. go about here. Cool. Anemone is going to jump the 15 feet that she needs to jump back down to the ground. Okay. 10, 15. Technically, it's, f- it's never mind. Six, it's 66. Or 66. It's 3d6. It's 3d6. To jump down? Yeah. Is it, is it, wait, is it per, uh, it's per 10 feet, right? Mm-hmm. Not, so it's only 1d6. Okay. Um, yeah, she's gonna jump down to my brain there. is all over the place. She'll Shake take that. two points of bludgeoning just to jump down. Okay. 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 Just cool. murdering. <laughs> just like, oh no. yeah, no, no. She's 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 mad. Um Anemone is going to then look at that person individual, smile very much so. She's gonna use her extra attack to use her void strike blade. I mean, she's going to get it later. Um, Yeah, she's going to get it later. Uh, She's going to chuck the pointy end directly to the throat of that individual. (laughs) Okay. Uh, She's going to hit with a 17 plus 5. Uh Uh-huh. So because it's a hit, it's 1d10. But it's 1d8 because she's doing it one-handed with the chucking. And then she likes to throw her weapons. I am. this we need something. to like create or something <laughs> that comes back on a bonus action or something. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, six plus th- two, so that is eight points piercing going three through that individual. Sorry. Okay. Four points piercing going through that individual plus a maximum one d six radiant because it's a successful hit. So we were what we're at eight points of damage. Yeah. Four point slashing plus six, so ten. Ten total. Okay, so I add two to this. Yeah. Okay. And then um Anemone is now going to use her sec uh mm. has she has she does she feel good? Yes. She's going to take up some debris that she took, like the shingles that she took, and she's going to use them as um, chucks. And she's going to use her. She 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 got she got injured, but the 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 bolt from someone who's supposed to look like her sister really hurt a lot, 
and she's mad about it. Um, and so she's going to use her action search to just do that. So you're throwing some debris at Sin as well. Yeah, Shadow Sin. Shadow. Okay. Sin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's going to use her her action search to do that. Probably not the best way to use this, but you know what? Ego. Um, an armed attack, so they will take an additional 16 plus 5, 21. Okay. Um, another <laughs> extra nice. 3 points of bludgeoning. So 21 to hit and then 3 points of bludgeoning. Yeah, because or, okay. it's an unarmed attack. Okay. Depending on how much you want that debris to hurt. All right, and is the, are you doing it? You have another attack. I do. No, I used I used both my attacks, and I used my movement, and I used. Um, but you action surged. Action. Yeah. So you have another attack. Okay, I'm gonna hit her with again. Um, nine plus five is fourteen. I don't think that hits. That does not hit. Yeah. Okay. The last uh, one, she just kind of chucks it straight at their nose, and then she watches it fall, and she's like, don't you ever do that to me again. And then she will look balefully while she has her hand on her dragon slaying sword while watching the individual in front of her. It wasn't yeah. as close to what she wanted. The individual in front of you uh, takes about 10 feet of a step back. And then aims at you and unleashes two blasts <laughs> of, of her uh, Eldritch Blast. And she's going to get, she's got a 19 on the dice and a nat one. So one of them is going to hit, one of them is going to miss uh, spectacularly. Let's see. You take, you take 12 force damage. And that's her turn. Uh, Shadow Clay Clover is going to go. And where is Clover. Shadow Clover? Shadow Clover. Ah, yep. Do the do the damage. Okay. Uh, uh, that's her up here, isn't it? The the magentry one. Yep, yep, yep. Damage. Twenty seven plus exhaustion. Damn. Damn. Shadow Clover, her fur is falling off. She's uh, coughing smoke. Uh, she looks she, like she's been hit by like nuclear radiation. She looks like, <laughs> like somebody dropped a house on her um, and is barely holding it together. And she's going to. She's going to. She's going to. What would she do? She uses her channel divinity to become invisible. She can't. She's glowing. Oh, she is glowing. Son of a bitch. Yes. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yes. Amazing. Cool. I said that so bitchy. She can't. She's glowing. It, no, it was great. Uh, <laughs> she's oh, going to perfect. run out of her out of this because she's doesn't want to get hurt again. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Uh, and then she's just going to cast a healing word on herself. And we're going to see. Because she's she's not doing well. Four she four. still has... um, She still has the guiding bolt, right? Like the, the damage from the moonbeam thing didn't dispel the... Or didn't mm -hmm. use up the guiding bolt? No, no it wouldn't cool. do that. Um, awesome. You're plus four. So she gets five hit points back. Okay. That was great. That worked well. Oh, we're going to no, get that back. And five. Okay. That's her turn. Uh Delphra. Okay, so oh fuck. I can't see. <laughs> She's behind someone. I really, like, I'm sorry, Rosalind. I just want to hate your shadow self for, like, basically almost killing me that first round. So, yeah. 
please do for the love of god fucking kill her <laughs> as long as you don't mistake her for me and accidentally hit me we're good <laughs> We're fine. It's fine. Fine. We will deal with the trauma of seeing my friends kill me later. It's fine. (laughs) That's a tomorrow Rosalind problem. Today I say kill her. Emotional damage. (laughs) Um, So I'm going to move off about 10 feet, give or take. And uh, I'm going to cast Produce Flame yet again. Okay. What happens? Not a one. You kind of light yourself on fire a little bit. Um, cool. you got a one. Go. You got a one. Wait, I'm gonna use my reaction so that you can re-roll that. Oh, nice! That so got that's amazing. A, that luck. Did you? No, there's no way. A one again. <laughs> Talk about Bruno, guys. <laughs> ah, wow. You just I can't, hear I can't help you, you just man. hear a voice. You. you just hear a voice from behind the the crates. Wow, Delphra. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that dice is no longer a friend of mine. It's going away. Thank God for the other seven that I have sitting here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh is your is your wildfire spirit doing anything? Uh, yeah, you know what? It's gonna cast flame seed because um, I give no fucks right now. Fucking asshole rolled a crit. <laughs> <laughs> At least somebody's <laughs> carrying the team. Leave yeah. them alone. <laughs> At least there's someone. Okay, and that was a d6. Okay, uh, 15. For, uh, shadow rosalind yeah my ac is a 16 you're she didn't you did you hit already yeah i critted yeah yeah no they hit already they crit oh cool, 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 um, cool, cool, so cool, cool. your lovely pupper there uh just looks at you watches you kind of light one of your strands of hair on fire and shakes their head and then just disintegrates shadow rosalind and he's just like don't worry i got your back <gasps> and then shadow rosalind is no more well done. uh sin it is your turn hey um after it's my turn whose turn is it next it would be shadow anemones okay I am going to recast a uh, sickening radiance with my final spell slot and just move it back all over these guys. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then, yeah, that's really all I can do. So, yeah, when it's their turn, they're going to have to roll and then I'm going to burn them up. All right, so they go next, um, and we're okay. going to... That's What save is that? It's a con? A, a, I think it is. Let me double check. Constitution saving throw. Uh, they fail. So <gasps> uh, That will be uh, 18 radiant damage, and they have one level of exhaustion and are glowing. Okay, and you are no longer a worm, madam. Let's remove this. Uh, they're going to they're gonna do they're gonna multi-attack they're gonna they're gonna start slashing who's closest to them uh of course it would be delphra Mm. they just step up to and start slashing um so but uh they're gonna roll a 10 to hit and a an eight to hit so they're not gonna do anything to you and they're still gonna stay in that bubble uh, yes. Well, that's their turn. Okay. Happy. All right. Um, now that they're all lined up nicely, um, I am going to spend some sorcery points to get back a uh, third level spell slot so that I can cast slow on all of them. 
Um, that is a uh, DC 17 wisdom saving throw. Uh, one, who is this? Who's first? Uh, Shadow and Emony. Wisdom. That's a 14. You fail. 18 for uh, who's next? In the lead. For Shadow Sin. And a 17 on the dice for Clover. So that's a plus four. So yeah. Uh, the so, last two pass. Okay. What was the what was what were the numbers on the second two? The second two were so 18, 19, and uh -huh. a 21. Oh, no, that's Tides of Chaos. I already used that. Never mind. Okay. So I don't have anything to do about that. So um, I am, I think I am. So one of them is slowed. So one of them is slowed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that your turn? um yeah Rothman. oh no no i can i can actually use this on them so i'm gonna bend luck um okay. and they're um going to take away one so it's not going to do it so there's yeah so there two of them are gonna pass okay uh ross so um a question is um Zebel Clover still lit up like her Christmas tree. Yep, they're all lit up. Then I'm going to shoot at her. I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, my thing is one away just now. Give me a second. Okay. No, oh, that was a crit. Go for it. Nat 20 with an extra seven. That is a 27 to hit. I'm assuming. Happy, happy, happy. So how do we do um, crits on this? Roll your dice. I rolled a Roll dice. Roll them all. Yep. So that would be um, 19. 19 points of yeah. damage? Yeah. Uh, you murder. Yes. You murder uh, yes. a little house cat. Sorry, baby. You're gone <laughs> completely gone uh is that your turn yeah i'm gonna try to hide again just in case i need to murder somebody else all right roll me a stealth check that's all that i tried to do 14's just not awesome uh i'm gonna say you're you're not completely hidden but yeah. there's two people left so you're probably not in too much danger uh okay. clover What was that? Yeah, we don't hear you. I cannot hear you. No. Uh, we're going to just skip that for now uh, and move on to um, Anemone. Anemone is taking a quick look around. She sees that her quarry is finally inside that ring of stuff. She's going to go to where her sword is. She's going to pick up her sword. Okay. Uh, you pick up important. your sword? Yep. She she picks up her sword. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yay. Okay. So um, she'll just she's sorry. just move 10 feet towards that spot and then I'll give Clover her turn egg back. What's your turn? Um, Clover. Me. Okay. Uh sorry, I got distracted. He is uh, so out of um Shadow and Emony and Shadow, is it Delphra, the, the two of them that are left? You have Sin, left sin and uh, anemone. Oh, shadow sin. Which one? Which one looks worse at the moment? Um, give me a medicine check. Sure. Medicine. Okay, I'm not bad at medicine. My dice are bad at medicine because that was a six total. 
I mean, they I don't know. I they both look like they've been hurt. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to pop up on top of the crate there. Um, and I'm going to throw a second level guiding bolt at Shadow's Sin. Okay. Um, guiding bolt, guiding bolt. Come on, where are you? Okay. So, oh man. Okay, I'm going to use my last luck point to try and roll that again because that was a three on the die. Okay. Okay, 13 on the die plus eight, so 21. That hits. To hit. Fantastic. So I get an extra D6 on that because it was the second level guiding bolt. So five, six, seven plus four is 11. Only 11 points. 11 points to Shadow Sin. It's, and, you're wearing her down. Apparently, one of the tankiest people is our warlock and our cat. Like, they're like, <laughs> I love figure. So um, And then I pop back down for half cover. All right. Anemone. Anemone is going to look at Shadow Sin, sees... Um, her friend is over on that side. She looks around and looks like everybody's doing okay, relatively speaking. Guys, question, question for you regarding um, healing potions. Mm -hmm. Is this a bonus action or an action to bonus take action. bonus action? She's going to take the, she's going to bonus action, use her, one of her potions of greater healing. Because <laughs> what she's about to do is going to be um, one of those things where everybody will know that Anemone takes calculated yet not calculated risks. <laughs> um, that may or may not kill her as well as... <gasps> Oh, no you're killing. going in, aren't you? That, that's that's a that's a that's that's an enemy here. Uh, she's going to say take... that this kitty cat cleric is uh, keen to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a uh, ten plus four, so she'll just take back fourteen points of healing, which is, which is fine. It's good. She still has one more healing potion. That's that's great. Uh, she's should. Should that should be no? Huh? Um, my HP should be fifteen HP, but for some odd reason, it's not showing up. Oh, apply changes. That's why. Brain. Okay. Uh, great. Now she's gonna look at the person in front of her. She's gonna take a step. So she's at the edge of this thing. She's not in it. I hope it's not. Okay. It's not. Like she's on the edge. Yeah. Of that. Yeah, okay. I don't think you're in it. Okay, great. Um, she's going to use her sword and she's going to stabby stab. Make your attack. Great. Uh, with the void strike blade. She can only make two attacks right now. Only two attacks. <laughs> uh, balls. Uh... I'm gonna Her use AC is sixteen. Yeah, 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 yeah. So one of them hits. You have do? Do you still have your um? My my inspo. I do, yeah. I do. Um, I'll see if that will make that attack at something. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a good sound. You're Fifteen, right, or sixteen? Sixteen. Sixteen. Damn. <laughs> I rolled a four plus six plus five. Just needed an extra one. So what's your damage? One second. There's got to be an action that I can do. One second. I use my bonus action to do the healing potion, so I can't do that. Okay. And you used your action to attack. Yeah, my attack twice. So... 
That's that's the way of the world. Uh, she's using the one d ten. She's got it in both hands. Um, cool. First attack is ten plus two, um, plus. Anemone, good job, girl. Uh, that is ten points of slashing plus six points of radiant damage. So was it plus two? Where did the yeah. plus two come from? Uh, because it's a versatile weapon. So if she's holding it two handed, um, her uh, her damage is one d ten plus, plus two. two. Okay, so then eighteen damage. And um, I rolled an eight on the d10 so plus the 20 six. damage yeah wait okay what? 8 plus 2 okay that's 10 yes plus 1d6 I rolled a 6 for the radiant damage so that's 16 16 okay. total You do 16 points of damage. She is not looking great. Uh, however, it is her turn. Let's uh, roll that. Okay. Let's roll that. Uh, My radiant favorite damage. Favorite part. Let's go. Let's go. She's so dead. <laughs> she's gonna be 21. So dead. Also so dead. exhausted. Yeah, she's dead. She's she's exhausted because she's dead. <laughs> 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 um it's really Delphra. tiring it is your turn you're muted you're still muted Meg, you're muted delfra is it delfra. gonna be every other every person gets a, a time with the not able to be unmuted thing i think you can Meg, you're muted her. Megan, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna produce flame and uh, pray. Gonna Are be... you serious right now? No, it's a thirteen. That's still bad though. Yeah, she's not gonna hit. This is not gonna hit. Do you still have your? Do you have your um? Any of your Rick. inspirations? I have all of them. I haven't used one yet. Oh, use it. Yeah. Uh, there's one that lets you the inspiration that I gave you will uh, roll with advantage. Um, and the second one is a d6 plus a d6. <clears throat> We're going to roll with advantage. Oh, okay. 18. Uh, is that plus anything? No, that's 18 to hit. Yeah, that hits. She has 17 armor. The way you said that made me go... What? Well, you said it like, does that like plus anything? Does like, plus anything? Uh, who knows? Who could say? <laughs> well, you know, if I math correctly, it would have been 28 to hit, but I didn't math. It right. definitely hits. Definitely hits. Math is hard. Math is really hard, especially this time of night. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, two D8s. Uh, it's a 10. 10 damage. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Is your foxy doing anything? Yeah, it's going to flame seed again. And that is a 16 to hit. That does not hit. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, you still have oh. the bardic, right? You have, you the... Still have the bardic if you want to yeah. use it. Yeah. Okay, you know six. what? Uh, you you would hit regardless because seventeen. Okay, fair. Uh, eight fire damage. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, sin. My turn. Mm hmm. Okay. We got um, one, you guys got one person left on the battlefield. I pop out and then I'm going to go 
whoosh, and like the white moonlight whip is going to appear in my hand and I'm going to Eldritch Blast. Mm. I got an 18. That hits. Okay. I'm not going to pull him. Okay. I'm just going to roll the damage and that is going to be um 16 radiant damage for the first attack and and the last the second the second attack is going to be an 18 again yep mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. for um that is 11 radiant damage. 11 radiant damage. You guys are out of combat as uh, as Sin whips Shadow Anemone's butt, literally. Um, I whip her think... on each butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Real we'll Anemone is like... <laughs> Did I? Is that awakening something in me? Um, maybe. We'll take a we'll take a ten minute here, guys. Sure. Okay. And come back. Uh, we're gonna take a ten minute break, guys, and we will be back soon. Daniel. Shut <laughs> up. Hi, everybody. We are back from our break. Um, you guys have just gotten out of combat with your shadow selves. Um, do you guys want to take a short rest? Do you guys want to heal up some? Use some hit dice. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Did it. Not ashamed to do so. I mean, back up to full. I took I, I took the full thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. I'm gonna use my do file to get do. some some uh sorcery points back and I'm gonna um go ahead and take the potion of heroism that I have. Nice. Okay. Um what does I that give recharged you? my batteries and it I gives- am ready to go. Perfect. 10 temporary hit points and uh, the bless spell for one hour. Okay, so you have a 1d4 to your stuff, mm-hmm. but not to your AC, right? Like you're fine with that? I don't have to sh- change No, that. no, I don't have to change that. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, Let me know when everybody is good to go. Yeah. I don't think yeah. Roz lost any points. Even though no, she got she turned was, into She a... was a rat for a while. She probably, yeah, but you the... know. You know, it's fine. Uh, okay, so we will, you guys take your short rest. You pouch up your wounds. Uh, you know, shit talk your shadow selves, because what the hell, guys. Um, and then you begin to make your way to the spire. And as you approach the heart of the Black Spire, you find yourself standing... You make your way through it, by the way. Like, I'm not going to make you guys roll for this. We are running short on time. So you make your way through uh, the spire and you get to the throne room. Um, A place that resonates with both grandeur and an eerie sense of foreboding. Uh, There are murals depicting the history of Tenbrosa that adorn the walls. Their once vibrant colors now tainted with the prince's curse. Um, casting a grim aura around the surroundings. At the center of the room, there is an imp- an imposing throne that commands attention, fashioned from the same dark obsidian-like material as the fortress itself. It stands as a symbol of the prince's authority and power. Behind the throne... On an elevated pedestal, which I think I fucked up in this map, and it's in front of it. So in front of it, it's right there, right there for you guys, um, rests the the stolen moonstone. A symbol of hope, now trapped under the weight of the shadow curse. Its once radiant glow has waned, casting feeble beams of light that struggle to pierce the darkness around it. Uh, Roll Perception. DC 17. 18. Uh, I want to use one of my little... 17. 
I'm using okay. an inspiration or what am I bardics? 18. Okay. Perfect. Is that everyone? We're good. 22. Yeah, All I right. got a nine. <laughs> so 17 and above. You don't even, you catch the little flicker of movement before he makes himself known. But from within the shadows between you and the mer- the moonstone emerges the cursed prince himself. I would like to roll, sed- roll to seduce the prince. His figure cloaked in darkness <laughs> and in cloaked in a dark armor that seems to meld seamlessly with the surrounding darkness. With a commanding presence, he steps forward, his eyes gleaming with a mix of mm, malice and something more. Mm. Uh, With roll Mama Mia? You'd like to. What okay. was that? Insight? Insight. Nope. Oh, I got a nat 20. <gasps> oh. Okay. Desperation. Pure desperation there. Uh, 24. Not now. Yeah, still. you definitely see. You guys can tell anything from 16 and above, you guys can tell that he's he's desperate for this uh, uh, moonstone. The prince, the prince's voice echoes throughout the chamber. So, you've dared to venture this far into my realm. I had hoped to dissuade you, yet here you stand. Have you not lost enough of your sister's little moonlings? I am not one to be trifled with. The curse that binds me will not be so easily broken. I urge you to just turn around and leave. Now you may roll for seduction if you have something to say. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) But why do you need this so bad? I can tell. One second. I'm getting. I'm waiting for that roll. Mm-hmm. Is it a persuasion? Uh, seduction. I'm gonna say would be. Yeah, we're gonna. It's gonna be persuasion. I'm, I'm gonna. gonna I have self bardic. I still have a bardic. So I love how badly she wants this to go off. Like <laughs> so that's <a> sixteen. Sixteen. <laughs> All right. Hang on. What's I do. I really would like this to work. She's not the most charismatic one of the group, but, like, she wants it to work. Oh, damn. Hang on. I gotta find him. Cancel. Where is... I've messed something up. Just give me one second. I've got a plus six to my persuasion. Oh, my God. Please <laughs> yeah, do. I think I have a plus eight or something. Fuck I, yes. I have a plus eight the to bunny, persuasion. The bunny's going to seduce the, the prince. <laughs> I'm going to wiggle my nose at him real sexy. <laughs> wiggle your butt. Your tail. <laughs> you're, little, gonna, you're like Lola. Lola bunny. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden she turns. <laughs> she Don't probably works into Lola bunny. No. Suddenly I have a waist and boobs. <laughs> it's like, when did, where did those come from? I'm he- your ears are tied up in a high pony. <laughs> All of a yeah. sudden a man has drawn you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> or why though? Hang on. Sorry, it's just not working. Give me one second. I feel like this amount of struggle just means that I automatically pass the seduction check. All right, there we go. It's in there. I really, you know, testing microphone the best for you guys. Uh, Let me let me check if it's it does it does not it does not work. Um. Wait, did you just you just rolled seduction? You don't even say anything. You just like what? Flash him a tit. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> what, more, what more do we really need? Okay. Clearly something, but um it yeah. All right. So as you ask your question of why do you need this so badly, Rosalind flashes him a tit <laughs> and <laughs> and he's a little taken aback. Uh he Because I thought that would be an obvious answer. Why don't you illuminate it? 
What else can break a shadow's curse but the moonstone? What cursed this land to begin with? I thought it was you. You see his face just change and darken ever so slightly as he looks annoyed with that <laughs> statement. And he says, I was foolish, yes. Desperate to bring back my family. I trifled with magics that I shouldn't have. It was I not know. done intentionally. No, I know, how that, I, I know how that feels. Impact is more important than intent. I know Are what it feels cursed? like. Oh. I'm sorry, what? Sorry, Kathy, you go. I know what it feels like to be dealing with the results of magic that you had no control over. And I know that you were messing with things that you shouldn't have. But you didn't mean for this to happen. And you don't mean, I hope you don't mean to rob all of Tembrosa and all of Solandria of our light as well. You'll just continue to create this cycle. We won't stop. We won't let you have it. We never can. And we will come and we will die and we will keep dying if that's what it takes. I'd really like to not die though. That's the preference. Thing. Yeah, I'm going to be like, kind of like scratching my chin. Do you know for certain the moonstone will break the shadow curse? Will. And it will be returned once I'm done with it. And what does that entail exactly? Left. Do you have yeah, a ritual? What are you going to do with it? Try my patience, moonlings. I'm just saying, maybe we could come to an agreement. We don't want the shadow curse. You don't want the shadow curse. We want our moonstone back. You need our moonstone, but you say you'll return it. I'm asking, what are the details? I must be able to use it to break the curse. It will not how... accept me. Until it does so, it remains here. Ah, it rejects what you. What do you mean by accept you? I need to be able to use it. Why? I'm sorry. Let's just roll this back. Like, <laughs> hi, I'm the Shadow Prince. Um, and I need this to break the curse. But it's not cooperating. But it's not cooperating. Uh, is there, is is, there, what is, do I know about the Moonstone? Do I know why it's not cooperating? And do I know who it will cooperate for? I mean, it is a, um, it is a piece of, it is gifted to you by Luna. So it has a piece to be of one of us. Maybe. Power of friendship. <laughs> yeah. Is there any reason I, why I'm... we shouldn't? hurry up like is there a downside to him breaking his curse i mean not that you can tell mm. you're not entirely sure yeah that's why that's why i was asking about what is this ritual entail because if we do not find it to be profane oh do you need help if if it I is know. you that is cursed, I could try to use some of my powers to break your curse. I don't know if it would work if the curse is bigger than just you, though. The curse has become this entire place. If you're willing to help me, then stay. You may be my guest. Mm. I'm going to look at everyone like how can we help you? Is there any way we can talk to Luna? Not in this area. 
okay, where can we talk to her? Like, did he go back to Slandria? We would have Um, to leave the country. Yeah. (laughs) Can we, uh, can I, we see if what his intentions are what he says they are, or does he have, Mm. is he hiding a piece of information? Like, you want to roll insight? Sure, because like if his ritual requires like the blood sacrifice of all of his citizens, then obviously I'm not going along with that. Uh, right. I rolled an 18, but if it's as simple, gonna destroy the damn thing, right? Like we don't want that. But if it's as simple as breaking a curse, I feel like that would have been on our to do list anyway. I mean, he would have been able to do that. He was a prince; they would have had access to that. In Our's... like typical Delphera fashion here. How do we not know that just killing him won't break the curse anyways? You don't. You, it might. That's why you guys have been going to get this moonstone over and over again. I'm just saying, like, wouldn't it be easier at this point just to, like, kill him? Easier? We don't know how powerful this guy is. It might be easier to just well, say, okay. There's six of us. There's like him. He, I mean, maybe he was mucking with magics he shouldn't have, but he might also be a victim in this situation. Like, he, right. I, we don't know. Tens of thousands of people, mm-hmm. one person. Uh, yeah. Sin, you're not certain that you can tell with your uh, your insight that he is not certain whether this will or will destroy the stone or not. He's not certain about this outcome at all okay how much research have you fucking done yeah i want to know if we can at least like assist with the research be like hey you know six heads are better than one so can we come to an agreement maybe you can uh, come back to salandria with with us as our gift we can have our goddess help are you asking are you saying all of this um yeah i think that i she'd be saying it a lot more eloquently like perhaps come as like an uh, envoy back because the moonstone's power is clearly being choked by the darkness if you truly believe the moonstone can break the curse i think that using it outside of this curse it would be more potent and if it's rejecting you here it it could be just a location issue and um i'm sure we can arrange i worry that the location issue would travel with him though that he might be the center of of this curse Maybe yeah, we can and then if we, if we brought him to Salandria, we might be putting Salandria under the curse too. Hmm, that's a very good point. How long think... has he had the crystal? Like very short period of time or a long period of time? Um, it's probably been about two or three weeks. Two to three weeks. Yeah. Is there any indication that his darkness is affecting the moonstone and like yeah. like deteriorating it at all? Yep. Uh, it was like what, when you guys came in, it was it's lost a lot of its glow. It can barely keep up a light. What if we surrounded it and held our and held hands and like did some magic or some shit? Wow. What magic, dear Rosalind, do you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Rosalind, could we at least know, do like what I know is that magic kind of is check or better with friends. Mm. That uh, what true. yeah, you can roll an arcana check. What are you looking for? Um I guess like cause he's he's so far being slightly cagey about the origin of this curse. So I guess mm-hmm. like getting more information about either the type of curse or like its origin or something like that oh you know? yeah Does is any the source yeah, or is like there another history. source yeah like oh, a yeah. history yeah. check or arcana check oh uh, you can roll yeah, history or arcana I mean, tell me what you roll okay i'm rolling history. i got a th- i got a 13 they're both the same so let's go arcana for me arcana 13. um yeah and delphra assist who are you want who do you want to assist Clover with Arcana. You can roll oh, again. Nice. Fantastic. All right. So who I rolled? Still have Bodics as well. Who rolled? That was worse. Okay. Uh, yeah, Anemone, many... what did you get? 13. For history? Yes. And you want to know where Bodic. the origin of the curse comes from? Yes. Uh, do with a 13 with Salandrian history, you know that it's said that it came from the, the prince himself mm. when he uh, played with magics he shouldn't have. 
And he did it to you just told us. resurrect his family? Or is, is that, that is what he said to you. Uh, um, Scarlett, what did you roll? I did not roll because not I am not proficient in any of those things. Clover. Mm-hmm. Um, I used my bardic to bring it up to an 18 arcana. An 18 arcana? Um, the 18 arcana. Okay, so you open your senses. You try to take in what this magic is, and you can see that it very much does seem to come from him. You know that um, it's been, it has bled out into, begin to, it's been starting to bleed out into your uh, side of this world. And uh, the only thing that was stopping it was Obsidian. Obsidian, like the rock itself? The, the dragon. dragon. Oh, right. I forgot that that was the name of the dragon. So I should um, take- Where were we? Mm. Uh, you guys were asking if you... He looks at you and he goes, do you think that I could leave this place? You Would you want me leave. to? No. I'm not well, sure that Obsidian would let you. To be honest. I think he'd be right. You are the curse. Oh. <laughs> I mean... Above the table. Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I-, I don't mean that you personally are a-, a curse. I mean that the curse is within you. Okay. The curse has better. <laughs> the curse is located within you it, where you go you take the curse it wouldn't be safe to bring you out therein lies the problem then doesn't it above the table um, above the table i have one prayer bead of greater restoration um is that worth do we think that is worth trying um so greater restoration will end one of the following effects on on the target and one of the dot points is one curse including the target's attunement to a cursed magic item the is that worth a try? spell greater restoration yeah. is a pretty high level spell that i've just got the one prayer bead like once that's done that's done i i haven't even got that prepared i, I don't think i can i mean I feel like if you're going to use it, now would be the time because you could prepare it later if it became a thing. Yeah. Uh, maybe. It's a level five spell. I don't think I actually have access to level five spells yet. Hang on. I don't no. have level five spells. So I, I've it's I've only got it the once. Um, I mean, is there anything else you would use it on? This is kind of... We're... This is kind of it, right? Yeah. I mean, this is our baby EG type situation, I think. Okay. Um, I'm going to step forward and... Um, excuse me, Mr. Prince. Um, looks down at I... I was wondering if you would be willing to let me try using my connection to Luna to see if see if she is able to break your curse through one of my spells i don't know if it's going to work or not but i don't think it will do any harm would you be willing to let me try the almost an amused smirk be my guest otherwise you're just going to chop your head off so Whoever, you're not going alone i i will go with you I will stand um, with you. You I, can. I approach him. How it's a, far it's are you a going touch up? spell. It's a Greater touch spell. Touch? I have. Yeah. Um, he'll let you up. I don't think he'll let Anemone all the way up. Um, she, Anemone is going to do the most Anemone thing that you guys probably have seen her do ever. She's going to try to intimidate the prince. <laughs> yes. Roll intimidation. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Well, 
the 12. Well, you tell me what you do in this moment. Um, her eyes flash. That's it. Like you heard your eyes light. flash as you go to as you kind of like bulk yourself up and take a few steps forward. Yeah, and behind he, behind Clover. And you see the shadow of him behind him grow and grow and grow and howling winds begin to make their way around the outside of the spire as he glares at you says take one more step and find out what happens and emily will look at him and will say even though she's slightly now let she's not as intimidating as as he is at this m- present moment in time if you hurt one whisker on my friend's face i will personally see to it to end your curse the most physical most bloody way i know how mm-hmm. you know first on the back like shape nodding her head like let's go he you see it's, it's almost like a soft little smirk and it goes away this asshole. <laughs> he looks back to you, Clover. Proceed. Um, I slowly approach him uh, and I, I stand in front of him and I just say, in order to try this spell, I need to touch you. Is that okay? He puts out a hand. He like, kneel, he squats down and kind of puts out a hand for you. He's I, he looks amused. I walk forward and do that thing that cats do when they're unsure of a new person. Like they just kind of walk forward a little bit and then just give a sniff to the fingers. <laughs> and like my my nose will just touch his finger that he's extending his hand out to me. And I will takes it back for a cast moment, greater but... restoration. As you cast greater restoration. You're trying to break hit a cursed item from him. What is what is this going to do? So the word. What are you is hoping for wounded. here? I'm hoping to undo the curse that is affecting the prince. Um I don't know that I need to specify like whether or not it's due to a cursed magic item or something. It's uh, the wording is just you imbue, you imbue a creature you touch with positive energy to undo a debilitating effect. And then one of the dot points is curse. And do you have to roll for this or it just happens? Is there a wisdom? Is there there a throw? I haven't, I don't have this open, so it just happens. I believe it just happens. Yeah. It's a very high level. I'm spell. very much debating on if it's going to work against something that a god has sent down. Oh, yeah. Is the issue I mean, that I'm having. No, that's fine. It was worth a try, Some right? Some of the effects that Greater Restoration does cure are like god level ailments. It is a fifth level spell. Let me look this up. I, swear I mean, to if god, it doesn't work, that's because... fine. It was just worth a try, right? My issue I love is that the idea of this. he would have been able to have someone cast this on him. Now, yeah. again, fifth level spells are really high. You have to be like ninth level to cast them, which is a godlike being in the context of a you don't D&D have to be, world. You don't have to be ninth level to cast. I'm eighth level and I can't cast fifth level spells. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not, it's not be all and end all. Yet. I know that. I just mean it's a very it's it's not nothing to sneeze at. I, I'm I'm aware, but you're also talking to a prince who would have had access to someone who could cast this. Mm. Touch the positive energy. Yeah, that's totally fine if it doesn't work. I just thought it was worth trying, right? I made the case for you, Clover. I tried. <laughs> Here's I what we're gonna do. It. Because this does because I don't think this would do it for a god's meddling. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna let you roll a d100, okay? Ooh. And if you could, 
70 and up, we'll have it work. <gasps> okay. Okay. All right. I got to pick the right dice for this. Okay. Okay. If right it doesn't dice. work, we'll go on a, a mission to find a genie. <laughs> If it doesn't work, we'll, <laughs> cut his head off. we'll have an Emily cut his head off. It's fine. Oh. All right, come on, dice. Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. You feel? Oh, want to see it? I can show you if you need evidence. I trust you. <laughs> I. You feel. This is so you fucking feel Luna in your heart. And you are standing right beside the moonstone. And it recognizes that. It recognizes you. And a burst of this silvery energy comes out and wraps around you. And as you touch the prince and use the moonstone, the shadows begin to recede. And recede. And recede. And get sucked back into him until he buckles and his knees drops to his knees you see a pale attractive man with auburn hair and green eyes he's shaking as he holds himself up like you've just almost you've almost killed him that was the second and that's my bad he falls back on his haunches and kind of just takes a breath and looks around at for the first time a light daylight is making its way into the spire. I never thought that this would happen. You did it. Oh, you did it. He Fuck looks yes. completely it. shocked. And uh, was it, he? it was Luna. A hand reaches forward to kind of scratch your ear, if you'll let it. He waits for he smell he lets you smell him first. And then smell him and then the cat guy sheaves her blade that she nearly went down when she saw his hand go out, and she's like, "Okay, hi, safe. She's safe. She's safe." And she still glares at the prince like intimidatingly. I truly did not want to fight you. I'm glad we found another way because you would have died. You it's would have died. Like, Guys, he's a death knight. Just FYI, he was I'm, a death knight. I was like, yeah, oh, maybe we fuck. should fight this guy. <laughs> he, like he he would have he would have murdered and he had I I had given him legendary actions and shit. Like he was a BBEG. Oh. <sighs> Look at the baby kitty. <laughs> um sorry we just like destroyed your final combat <laughs> with the power totally of friendship <laughs> Look, uh is there anything there. you guys want to do before I'm gonna... you take your i want to roll i want to roll to seduce him again <laughs> <laughs> and what exactly hot. do you think you're doing because he's extra hot and i just want him to like please 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 Tell me what you are doing, or you're flashing another tit, and he's just gonna look at you like, <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, maybe both this time. Okay, so you <laughs> only flash one last time. You are so charming. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you put it that way, <laughs> let, I feel like I should it. have advantage because I'm flashing two this time. Um, <laughs> one for just, each. One roll for each. Roll, roll, roll your persuasion. Roll your persuasion. Snap. Run you're rolling a dice and i'm not like, giving you advantage because you're flashing two tits okay <laughs> that's that's too two bad because advantage i think it's have... excellent i think it's excellent logic i'm just saying <laughs> um but uh, if i only got one then i only got a six so you know it's fine okay he just he kind of looks at you and then he looks at clover and he goes i don't 
think that one is well mentally. <laughs> I'm gonna like <laughs> telepathically whisper in Rosalind's ear or mind. Uh, we need to work on your game, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to spend the night and depart in the mornings. <laughs> um, I, <clears throat> can I ask, Prince? How much were you aware of killing our sisters? How much did you know what you were doing? I did try to stop them. I warned you at every part. And you still killed them. You stole from us. And then you they killed us when we tried to take it back. And you knew that. I empathize. And I want Perhaps. for this to be over. But it can't be over without justice. Perhaps when aid was requested from the Salandrians, when our people were dying of a magical plague. Had you responded and sent help, I would not have. Oh, so somehow this is our fault? Leave before I decide to change my mind. I'm going to telepathically whisper in everybody's ears, like, we will bring justice to him, but right now our mission is the Moonstone. We will bring this news to our superiors and then we can send an envoy to get justice. I'm just saying... And I just nod. Like, in Delphra fashion, is anyone holding her back? Yeah. yeah. So I will because we hold know. You back. We know you are welcome. Sick. to what, Whatever you're about to do, it's up to you. Like our, no, our, our but I want to kill your character. We, yeah, we don't you want, want to you die. to kill your character. Yeah, if you want oh. to die, say I don't want to die. I'm just playing as the actual character in this moment. If nobody is holding her, I will. Ar- I will arms of a Hadar. I will take my way <laughs> for. <laughs> Before you attack and do whatever you're doing, he does look at you, uh, Clover, and say, uh, Kat, you are welcome here. Whenever you please. Riches, beyond riches and comfortableness. And comfortability will be at your command. Her name is Clover. Clover. To, to be honest, Mr. Prince, I would really like it if you could put those riches to use restoring restoring your people looking after those who have been hurt by all of this that will be done what kind of monarch would I be if I had no people to rule over I don't like how I said that I'm just saying what kind of monarch Mm. See for the last how many how- fucking years? Yeah. Where where Did are I- these people now? Can I going to bring them back from the dead? Yeah. And then cause the shadow curse all over again? I'm just saying, guys, this is gonna bite us in the freaking ass. Okay. Yeah. Um. Could we'll I have to deal with do- this guy at some point for sure? Could I do mm. a quick insight check on the prince now that I'm watching him look at Clover as to why he's having, like, sure. So he asked for aid once the plague was happening, but the plague happened because of him. And now he's blaming us for not showing up. Like, that's gaslighting. So here's the mm. deal. Mm-hmm. Here, Here's the deal. Um, could I make an insight check to see how truthful he is or how much he's changed? Since that gradual restoration uh, spell broke that portion of the curse? Uh, yeah. Okay. And can I make an arcana check to see how powerful he is if he still maintains any of the same powers that he had as a death knight? Oh, that's a you really can? good point. Mm-hmm. I got a seven oh, on that insight. Oh, man. 16 on arcana. 
Uh, he doesn't look... He is alone in here, surrounded by not lunar sisters and he while what while he was weak a moment ago looks like he is regaining his strength fairly quickly and does not look afraid more just annoyed that we're still here mm -hmm. again guys um is the, is the moonstone unguarded it is behind him he has told you that you can you could take it and go Okay. I mean, I certainly don't want to be near this asshole any longer than I have to. Agreed. I feel like um, we need to take, take the moonstone, take it back home, deal with him later. Anemone will look towards the prince and will very stiffly bow her head because she failed her insight check. Um she does not trust him whatsoever. Uh, she has made a judgment call on his character. And mm -hmm. she's going to kind of look at him. Who would you like to approach your throne, your highness? As we would like to collect the stone that you so freely um, provided my companion here. And she'll look towards Clover and she's still like watching his hands because she just doesn't trust him. So you are Clover, you are still within five feet of him, yes? Probably, yeah. He'll walk over to the moonstone, uh, pick it up. It's got a bit of a it's on a chain, and just put it around your neck. Clover. I thought it was big. <laughs> Yeah, I thought this it's, it's like, like, like this big. big. Okay, it, it's like okay. the size of my actual. <laughs> I'll. Uh, thank you. Um. We we'll be seeing you, I guess. Not. No, like I said, you are always welcome. Your sisters are not. Noted. Delphora just like raises her fucking hand and just gives him the fucking finger at this point. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna die. He's being a douche, to be fair. Roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I have, it's, you guys have been close. I'm not gonna lie. You guys have been close this whole time. Um, do you leave? I, I think yeah. we should go. Yeah. We, we scurry away. <laughs> I don't want to be near this dude for one second longer than I have to. Yeah. No. So, because Delphor okay. just doesn't trust okay. anything at this point, okay. as we're leaving uh, 10 feet behind us, uh, through like the doors, I'm casting Wall of Fire behind us. So that he can't oh. come. Not like, in, not in, like at him. No, not it's just a, a wall to get it so a that wall he can't go through. Between us leaving and him. Nice. Yeah. Okay. You do that. You guys make your way. It takes you a few days to get out of the Shadowlands. You're just on time as you leave the Shadowlands. Uh, victoriously, you emerge from the Shadowlands. Your heart's filled with a mixture of relief and triumph. You've made yourself, you've made your way back to Salandria. The journey back is a stark contrast to your previous venture. Uh, under the warmth, uh, the warm, under the warm embrace of a gentle, if if yet slightly dimmer sun. Salandria with its lush landscapes and vibrant colors, welcomes you with open arms. Uh, word of your heroic deed has spread like wildfire throughout the realm. And as you approach the city gates, you are met with a jubilant reception. Citizens line the streets, cheering and waving, expressing their gratitude for your bravery in facing the cursed prince and restoring hope to the land. 
The air is filled with a sense of celebration and renewed optimism. You make your way to the Grand Temple, where High Priestess Lady Lysandra awaits you, a beaming smile upon her face, her expression one of gratitude and admiration. When she sees you, she opens her arms. You, ha you have proven yourself true champions of Salandria. She says her voice is filled with reverence. Through your courage and selflessness, you have not only restored the Moonstone, but brought light and hope back to our realm. She looks incredibly relieved to see you and gestures to take the stone from you to place it back where it belongs. Yeah, hand it over, of course. You hand it over. And oh. as you place it into her hands, she cradles the stone to her chest and smiles in appreciation. And then her smile twists. Into I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I almost... Like, why Thank you. No. I knew it. I almost did. I almost did an insight check on her before she handed it. But I didn't. I didn't. Fuck. Lysandra's bright blue eyes begin to change Next, and there. shine a toxic orange. Whatever, Sandra. Her snow white hair darkening to become as black as night, or as some might say, as dark as the other side of the moon. Oh boy. Nixaria gives you a grin, winks, oh. and then disappears. Knew it. As does the moonstone. And somehow, Slandry seems just a little less bright. And you feel your powers. You feel your powers begin to fade from you. And uh, that's where we end our game. <laughs> oh, we all go on our game. We are getting that bitch, okay? okay. We are going after her. That, no, no, maybe, no. Maybe we need to go ask the cursed prince for help. Yeah, <laughs> no, we are like, not asking shit. that man for any help. We are not. Oh, we got to find yeah. where where the oh. high priestess is and where that that person took them. <laughs> but like. Clover is going to hate herself for the next 50 years over the fact that she just handed over the moonstone. I'm just saying, oh, let's man. say that the high priestess was not Nexaria the whole freaking time. I mean, who can say? Yeah, You can say. Know. You wrote the damn yeah. thing. Just okay. saying. Do you want to know? No. no I no. don't want to know. I want to no. discover. I want that to be part of the mystery that we yeah. try to solve. Uh, yeah, so... um. I guess that's it. Goodbye, everyone. I've been IC Stars. <laughs> and wow. your shenanigans saw the sovereign. Is there anything else <laughs> that you guys want to say? Um, that was an amazing game. Thank you so much for being our yeah, incredible GM. Uh <laughs> we're a little traumatized, but that's okay. We'll get over it after some therapy. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. That was wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. You are most yeah, welcome. Thank you. I just want you to know that there was like, you'll get a copy of this original, like this thing that I wrote, the module. Uh, the ending is so different. Like it was so, you guys ended up being like, uh, like knighted more or less. But then you were like, <laughs> we want to make it a full campaign. And I'm like, do, 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 do. How do we end? How, <laughs> how do we knock you guys back down a few levels? Um, <laughs> that was a good way to do oh, it. The, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so fucking. That's brilliant, bitch. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, your horrified. power is getting away from us. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Mm. That's, I'm like. I'm like. How do I do this? Let's do, let's do this a little bit. Um. Yeah. That whole end bit was a lot was different than it should have been. Nice. But uh, yeah. So um, Scarlet, why don't you? Do your sign off. I'm Scarlet64. I stream D and D. I'm streaming a game tomorrow on my channel, and I also make dessert dragons. I ordered the stickers today, <laughs> so that'll be cool. Um, yeah. Uh, who's next? Is it um, Mama Cleek? Yeah. So I'm Mommy Kalik. I am 
nowhere on the internet. And other than that, I guess I'll see you next time. And we'll go linen and spice. Linen and spice, juniper, um, played clover. Really interested to see where this campaign goes next uh, when we return in a few weeks. Um, other than that, I play Alien first Sunday of the month, Saturday, Sunday. I've forgotten. Anyway, um, I'm going to pass over to Gia Revan. Hello, I am Gia Revan. You can call me N. You can find me on Twitch as Gia Revan. I make maps. I have a game on Tuesday that you can watch around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I love hanging out with these lovely, powerful, excellent, encouraging, beautiful, uh, sassy, frassy, delightful individuals and women who are powerful. I think I said that already, but they're powerful. So I'll say it again. They're powerful. Times um, four. It, it, times four. Four times. Four times. <laughs> go super saiyan soon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> quad A. Quad A battery. They're made out of lithium. Um, uh, amazing, lovely people that I love playing games with. I am going to pass it on to Kathy or Star. Hi, I'm Star. I'm Star Mama C on TikTok. And I have a podcast called Characters Without Stories, uh, where I talk to people about characters. They haven't had a chance to all kinds of TTRPGs. And I just want to say thank you, everyone. It has been such a joy being at a table with all of these illustrious, beautiful women. Um, and I'm going to pass it to Katie. Hi, I'm Katie, um, Dungeon Mistress Katie on all the things. Um, yeah, this was fantastic. I'm so glad that I got to do this with you guys. I'm so glad we're going to continue doing this. It wasn't just like a five part thing. Um, and thank you just for everything. And yeah, um, come find us in a few weeks. We'll be yeah, here again. Uh, I'm working on on making the campaign. I'm thinking probably the beginning of November ish, but we'll talk about that afterwards. Um. Okay. I love you. Bye bye. Bye bye.